Pull up the block up to my feet, hurt the slayer, yeah, yeah. Better yeah. off the worst, I took the good with I'm the bad, yeah. yeah. I done took a ride in the hell, that one I done took a roll down, where they kill me. And... Seven, six, five, four, three, two, are you ready? And welcome back to another episode of Lit Podcast. You know how we do it. You know what I'm saying? Before we get started, make sure y'all roll up. You know what I'm saying? To find the CBD. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm just playing. You know what I'm saying? But roll up that good, good. Because we finna smoke chimneys today. I got a special guest. Before we get to my special guest, I want to talk about my sponsor. Shout out to Soul Lounge. You know what I'm saying? For hooking me up with the latest. You know what I'm saying? We got uh, we got the blends, live resin in the house. You know what I'm talking about? We got some of that, uh, what you call it, shroom fed stuff going on right here. We got some edibles, and I got some, ooh, some, ooh, weed, man, like, hey, if you, if you like crumbles, mm-hmm, crumbles, you see, ooh, look at that box, the crumbles in there, mm-mm-mm. Let's check this out right here, you see that right there, like, ooh, ooh, mm-hmm, that's some good, mm-hmm. Hey, we gonna get lit with, what? You got all of my time spots, it's time to get to me, you know what I'm saying? It's time to get to my guests, you know what I'm saying? Get this stuff up out of here, you know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? Ah. <laughs> get that shit right up out of there. But say, man, today, you know what I'm saying? I got what I always got, you know what I'm saying? The hottest artists, the legendary artists, the icons, the pioneers, the up and coming and everything in between. And today with me, man, I got, man, say, you don't even know, man. If y'all don't know, y'all finna know, man, I got souls of sin in the motherfucking building. What's going down, everybody? It's cracking. Let them know. Let them down. Let it down. Let them know. You know what I'm yes, saying? Sir, yes, that, that was the hit right there. Goddamn me. DPD. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to get to that. Before we get to that, I want my fans to know who y'all are individually. Over here to my right, I got sin. You know what I'm saying? Say, hey, what's up? You know what I'm talking about? Over here to my left, I got champ. What's up, man? What's up with Man, in the yeah, building, yeah, yeah. man. For the ones who don't know, please, I want y'all to iterate, you know what I'm saying, what I already did. Please let them know who you are and where you from. Uh, Souls of Sin. I was sin. Now I go by dirty. A little bit of both. Uh, from Pleasant Grove, born and raised. Elie Mabugda. Uh, till I was shit. Ten years ago, probably. I always been a hood baby, but uh, don't hit it. Yeah, man. Uh, I'm Big Champ. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Repping that Grove, you know what I'm saying? So, that's about it there, man. Okay. And then we got Big Grip, who couldn't be here today. You know what I'm saying? He does remember. You know, off military. Man, get well, get well. You know what I'm talking about? So, what is it like growing up in a Grove? Shit, wild. Yeah, man. Wild as fuck. It's different. You know what I'm saying? It's different, right. You know, a lot of people underestimate (laughs) the Grove, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, we hear about other parts of town. Love them. Got folks out. In all parts of the city, man, but I just think we get overlooked, you know what I'm saying, in the Grove, you know what I mean? Yeah, the Grove do. Yeah, man. Yeah. But like, we don't even get gentrified. Yeah. Like, we don't even get that. Like, it's still, it's still yeah. around. And my boy said the Grove don't even get gentrified. So, yeah. so what year y'all was coming up? In the, I mean, y'all been there all y'all life, so what, what, when, when were y'all coming up? What year was this? Well, okay, so it was the same with 95. Yeah. So, but like... All of us was about to round. So junior high, ninth grade, and that area yeah. was pretty much when crack hit, when gang banging hit. Mm-hmm. So right when we were coming, young men, is when shit went wild. Right, right. Like literally, I remember I went to school. I went to Florence for junior high. I left okay. school on Friday. I went back Monday. Everybody was a crip or blood. <laughs> I was like, God, what damn. year was this? It was when, damn, when the colors come out. <laughs> it was a weird <laughs> colors came out. Color came. The color came out like 80, 80, 80 Yeah, yeah. Everybody was a cripple blood. Mm-hmm. Late 80s, huh? Yeah, late 80s, like 88, 80, yeah. 89. 80, so you but I right remember, now. But I remember games before that, though. Oh, there was, but it yeah. wasn't as intense. It wasn't intense. Okay, okay. It was more hoods than anything. Right, it was more hoods, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You knew the hoods, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And they, it was hood, you yeah, know what I'm saying? It wasn't no color. Everybody right. wore Dallas Cowboys. Right, right, and right. And then you right. had you the messy games, you know, low down posse. And yeah. Like yeah, that. yeah. But, man, talk about the messy games. It was a lot of them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was a lot of them, you know what I'm saying? There was Eastside, you know what I'm saying? Eastside Homeboy. 
Eastside homeboys. Eastside locos. Eastside locos, you PGV. know what I'm saying? Vato locos, yeah. shit. You had what? Midnight, Dream. Midnight Dreamers, yeah, Midnight Kings and Queens. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Maple Project. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was, yeah, that was deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. was deep back then. See, me, me, I was the only white boy. <laughs> in my neighborhood right. at my school like there were like three or four others I'm like y'all victims I ain't fuck with y'all so fucked up. I had to be you real hold you gotta hold it when, that, when it lean it ain't gonna smoke right yeah but yeah the Grove it's a different animal like right you get popped just sitting in the drive through waiting on the food <laughs> on an accident like catch a stray it ain't we shit we lit bitch <laughs> <laughs> we lit, bitch. He, he like, he like oh, nah, he ain't no, nah, no, nah, he everywhere. We, that you know what I'm saying? Mike Tyson in that bitch, the hot box. You know what I'm saying? So, like, so I was getting the paper. Man. Everybody always had this misconception of the Grove, like it was all because at one time it was the suburbs at yeah, one point, yeah. and it, and then it's turned out because I remember me staying in the Grove right there on Loop 12. Right now, right there, you come in Oak Cliff, right there. And you pass Joppy on Lou 12 and yeah. the apartments right there back in the day, but they tore them down and made them Rosemont's now. But oh, back yeah, then they used yeah, to be yeah, gangsta. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah that was that was that was, they like back in that time. So like when did it, the Grove start to become like turned out? Shit. I, I don't know. Here. I don't know. It's like when niggas knew they could get spots. Right, 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 right. You know right, what I'm right. saying? Like we, niggas grew up in apartments mm-hmm. and shit and all that there. They saying what's going on? Oh shit, nigga neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? It was always wild, but when that when that dope game hit yeah. it, it Cause somebody was smoking crack, you, you know what I'm saying? Right, somebody. So you get up in their Some, spot. Somebody ain't to your uncle. Something. Yeah. Somebody ain't to your shop. uncle. And back then <laughs> yeah. wasn't no short stop and wasn't no none of that shit. Like there was rules. Right, right. You got your ass popped for that. Like, yeah. They don't do that shit like they did but back then. Jamaican posse was out. Back that time too. Oh, oh yeah, they tried with In the South. We ran their ass out. What? Oh, shit. Y'all got Jamaican posse stories? <laughs> no. You talking about over there in the hood. Yeah. Man. When the Jamaicans will try to come over there and take over. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Damn, y'all got Jamaican pasta stories in, in, in the Be- Grove? In Beckley Way. Oh, in Beckley Way, okay. Yeah, we were over there. And we were like, <laughs> it's time the girl I wish was, was the assistant manager. So we had the plug. Mm-hmm. And there were like 70 of us over there. Yeah. And they came yeah. over there trying to fuck with somebody. And, and so they, they promptly got surrounded and uh, asked to remove all of their dressings and drop their keys and their money in their wallets. <sighs> Get all that shit thrown on the building and uh, Mosey yeah, the fuck on down Moses, the road. Get the fuck on. Get the fuck on. So they you got, got all the windows busted right. out and they shit. Seats cut up. Like, oh, shit, they life got spirit. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah, nah, for real. Yeah. Shit, that's real shit. But we let them know, like, this this us. Right. It ain't no, ain't nothing over here. And like, we were young anyway, but these, right. these are little homies. You right. Know what I'm saying? These are little bros. They would say they wild. They were red. But say oh, that. Yeah. What? Go ahead. Over there on that, like, that, uh, that PV. That John West, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That Ferguson, you know yeah. what I'm saying? All that little intertwine right there, man. So it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Y'all made a night. The one thing about the yeah. Grove is, see, people don't understand it's big. Okay. You know what I'm saying? They think the Grove is small because you wrap around all the way to East Dallas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? East Dallas is just right there. Then you come yeah. all the way back on around That's over here. That's part of to... my history, too. You right. know what I'm saying? Right, right. It's right there. You know what I'm saying? Dallas, South East Dallas, 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 Oak North Cliff. Dallas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? North Dallas right there. Then you back in Mesquite. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So it's like, you got, and you back, what, what's that? Dollar Ferry, all that. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, all that man. stuff. Like, yeah. So it's like, Y'all connected, connected. You oh, know yeah, what I'm saying? We in the middle of everything. Like, you, the Grove, one thing about the Grove, I know you got key spots. You know what I'm saying? If you from the Grove, what are those key spots? Man, like, what I be really hearing popping in the Grove <laughs> with these youngsters is the uh, six, man. Oh, the six. That's now, though. Now? Yeah, that's now. You talking about back, back then? then? Back that's then. Now. That's now. I know we know about the six back, and all back that. Back then were brutal and military. Brutal oh, and yeah, military. Brutal and military. Yeah. <laughs> Saheem and, um, yeah. and Masters. Yeah. Jim Miller, late yeah. June. Jim Miller, late June. You know Buckner Ferguson, Buckner Peavy. Yep. 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 Buckner yep. Peavy. You know what I'm saying? The loop. Yep. The loop. The loop. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah, the loop. Man. Damn, the loop was back there. Yeah, you talking about? Yeah, yeah over yonder. That, 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 that was the stroll. Nigga, that, that, that was the whole stroll. <laughs> I went. I went to Spruce too. Oh, okay, okay, and then, and okay. Then Hillside and Georgetown was, yeah. was jumping. Like it wasn't. What shit? They were wild. Mm-hmm. I went to goddamn Gaston, Brian, Adam, all that shit. So who was y'all? So who was y'all influence? What got y'all into music? Like, like shit. It, I'm old school. So originally, with like Rock Hill. Okay. Rockin', Run DMC, of course, Big Daddy Kane, shit like that. Yeah. And then Scarface, NWA, 
you know, when they when they gave shit. So, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Face was always the one though. Yeah, face, face was the one where okay. I was like, okay. Like he he the truth. And what about you? Cube, man. Cube. Boy, that's the second uh, one on Cube, okay. Easy E. Easy E. Uh let's see. Even though that DOC writing the rhymes, but you shout out DOC. Shout out DOC. Shout out Doc. You know what I'm saying? DOC. Yeah, DOC. You know what I'm saying? DOC. Yeah, man. Yeah. Always uh, influence. Man, I used, I used to like that Miami, that Miami bass shit. Oh, too. that Miami, um, um, what's that? Magic Mike? Not Magic Mike. DJ but, Magic Mike. Yeah, yeah, DJ Magic Mike. Okay, yeah, I didn't want to say Magic yeah, Mike because they got yeah. the other Magic Mike nigga. Bass control. <laughs> no, DJ Magic Mike was a different Magic Mike. Yeah, that's a different Magic Mike. <laughs> He made yeah. whole shake their ass. He didn't shake his ass. Nah, it was a whole nah, different. No, nah, not that nigga. <laughs> That's why the I had to stop race. myself for a minute. Yeah. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> there was yeah. G Strings of all, but he wasn't wearing it. Right. right. Yeah. Oh, shit. And Bass Patrol, man. Bass yeah. Patrol. Yeah, Bass Patrol yeah. got some. Yeah. He got his shit still relevant to today. You know that? At, no, his tracks. The tracks that he had that he was producing on this shit. That, yeah. It, it's relevant to today. Like you, like you hear shit today. Uh, shit, right like, now they uh, sampling Rodney O and Joe Cooley. What you saying? You know Bro. what I'm saying? I'm just sure. I remember. I say I miss my finger waves of flipping the back. Say, I, uh, man. Say. <laughs> my shit. Hey, look, oh. look, look, look. Hold on. What are we doing? My shit's be long in a bit. Look. Yeah. Oh, he gonna Ooh. cut it all off. Hell no. Yeah. Hereditary. Oh, okay. When yeah. I went to Spruce. <laughs> walked in the spruce, I got a finger wave. Uh-huh. And walked in and all I heard was, ooh, look at the white boy with the finger wave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, they don't know nothing about that about Dallas. See, Dallas, see, everybody yeah. play up. Yeah. Nigga, nigga, everybody will play up, my nigga. We was yeah, on man. player ass shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like this. Yeah. Cause you, you can't know, put your yeah, head down, yeah. you wanna fuck it up. Jail itching like a yeah. motherfucker yeah. shit. Yeah. You like, damn, get this shit about it. You know what I'm saying? Get this shit about this motherfucker. Yeah, bro. Cause you ain't finna see me walk around doing this shit like hell. Yeah, nah, Sorry. nigga, I finna fuck that hoe up, nigga. I'm digging all in my way. Before the booties and all that, it was yeah. waves and braids yeah. and the high yeah, time yeah. fades. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I even had locks well, at one point. Well, well, you got to wait a minute. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, Mr. Wave. You know what I'm saying? You got to define booties. You mean shags and booties. Now, the booties were before the shags. Uh, you, you, you yeah, know, you, yeah, the booties yeah. were before the shags. Booties, but, those, that was my generation. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the booties, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah, yeah. them booties are different from the shag. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> South Dallas Shag a different yeah, thing than the yeah, you know what I'm saying moves. and then you had the South Side you remember the oh, South Side oh, they yeah. stopped doing those you know what I'm saying I remember the yeah. South Side <laughs> I had a whole bunch of them yeah, yeah. shit <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah you just go down in that area so like who else was like in Dallas that was influencing y'all oh shit you already said Doc he well yeah Doc is, yeah. oh yeah, he, yeah and then you know Nemesis Nemesis yeah. mm-hmm. uh, PKO, PKO yeah. Infrared PKO. Yeah, yeah, infrared, yeah. yeah. And you know Jesse always saying? been cold. Oh, the cottonmouth cold. Cottonmouth, yeah. He till his day cottonmouth yeah, cold. Cotton mouth. Uh, yeah, cottonmouth. Cottonmouth a spitter. Was it like Pimpster? Pimpster, Pimpster? Yeah. 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 Yeah, Dickies yeah. and House Shoes yeah. and all that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pimpster yeah. Pimps was nice. Yeah, that was, was before we had to have a dance with everything. <laughs> man, I, man, I liked it when, uh, when everybody on the West was down here fucking with Dallas, though. Like, when niggas coming down here fucking with Quentin Black and all that like shit. Like Sebo and all them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, we, we had a track with his ass before, too. We would come together, records. Yep. For real? Yeah, man. What? Man, I, but the cold part about it, they got to meet this nigga, but I was at work. And so I had to come at, after they did. And they show track? Man, what's up? What, what's nigga, up? I felt cheated like a... I know you what? felt cheated. Man, I know you say, feel man. played like what's up with a legend. You so, know. man, say so. It's because he he doing the tour. I mean, he doing this little podcast run right now too. Oh, shit. Sebo, yeah, shout out Sebo. Sebo so, yeah, yeah. real. Sebo so, real. So, how did you get Sebo? How y'all get Sebo on the track? Like, how was that? See, he was down here. Uh huh. Yeah. And he was promoting. It was him and uh, what's old boy name with him? Uh, shit. One of his young artists. I can't remember. Old boy, he was cold too though. But they, we was to come together over here. Uh-huh. Back then, and uh, we were running the studio and then recording and doing production and pretty much whatever. Right. And Sebo was around there and somebody ran into him. They were like, shit, we got a studio. Yeah. Come to the yard. He came in, they were like, shit. He come in, big Desert Eagle, vested up. Like, I'm like, okay, like, I, I fuck with you. Like, you know what I'm saying? After a couple minutes, he talked to us, chop it up, then he up. like, all right, I'm cool. He take the vest off, put the eagle on. He, he like, let's do business. <laughs> he sat there right there, wrote his verse. We wrote ours. You know what I'm saying about 10 minutes later, we in the booth. Damn. So it was just right on the spot. Did y'all kick it after that? Did y'all yeah, were like, oh, okay, yeah. okay, all right. Then we did shows with him. Mm-hmm. It was us and then his folk. Mm-hmm. What look? I didn't even get to go to this one. 
But it was one of them little country ass towns and we doing the show and they almost got into it with the whole damn club. But Sebo was, was real. Everybody jumped out. Sebo was with it. Sebo like, was like, him and this folks without. They were like, let's do it. God, Lee, so that's crazy. That was the second album you seen? No, nah, we was working on the second album. Yeah, I was working on the second okay, album. Okay, so Soul Sin came out in 95. Mm-hmm. We did our thing. Right. But that wasn't the first. The first album nah. came out in 98, right? No, it was 95. It was 95? 95. Okay, okay, okay. So when that one came out, we did it. And we, we toured. Nah. What? 99. Was it 99? Nah, it was 98. Nine eight nine nine. Like Man, I was okay, in. You right, you right. You yeah. I was in nine. I, I remember I was in. I was in high school. You right. It was ninety eight, ninety nine. Yeah, it was right. like nine eight nine nine. Cause what? you know why? You know how I know? Because y'all some soldiers. Cause y'all came out when. When P and them was out, nigga. Not only that. Dallas, money, all, that, all that was out, but y'all also had Dallas hard hitters coming out. Yeah, yeah. don't y'all know y'all had K Rock, yeah. Dallas Luke After Dark, yeah, Young was, Hustlers, yeah, MC Doe. Uh, yeah. Matter of fact, Oak Cliff Assassin dropped yeah. that year. Assassin, you know what I'm saying? Run C, Run yeah. C even dropped that year. Oh yeah, he and did that Griffith south side ride after that. Yeah, Grifters, yeah. Uh, that boy Polar Bear, and yeah. Uptight did that strap Uptight. for light. Oh, type yeah. So y'all had y'all had a lot of competition, oh, yeah. and y'all and y'all came through y'all body y'all came to the store. Man. <laughs> I mean, you had to come with it. Then you had Dallas to come with jumping. it. Dallas was jumping. Yeah. Dallas was jumping, and this was right before that. Run, you know, from that time right there, nine eight, Dallas had a whole run all the way up until like two thousand nine, oh, yeah. two thousand ten. Nonstop of people. Nonstop coming stop out. Ki- people coming out. And it was, and that's what fucked Dallas up. But we don't. We don't, we don't network. We don't work with each other. Everybody got their camp, and they right. stay with their camp. Right. And that's what be fucked up. And that's why we don't. We get to the point where we get almost there. Right. And then it'll be some bullshit because we want to limit everything. We want yeah. everybody want to be the first motherfucker to be, just be huge out of it. Right. Right. Instead of like fuck it, let's just get somebody to be huge. Push right. it on. I think because we've been an underdog so long, it's like Dallas is like, man, we somebody got to crack this right. seal, but not knowing that we always been cracking the seal. Like okay. when we look back and we go and look in our arsenal, you know what I'm saying? It's like, man, this dude got platinum plastic, this dude wrote for him, this dude produced for him, this dude been recording with him, and da da da. It's like, I think, what, what you remember who um, who who watched that um, Water Boy? Yeah, yeah, you remember Water Everybody Boy? Watch Water. Everybody watched Water Bobby Boy. Bobby Boucher, right. right? Bobby Boucher, and you know the dude that barely can talk and say like when you make, yeah, yeah, like when you make. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing I'm gonna say right now. Success is what you make it. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Right. <laughs> Shit, right. You know what I'm saying? Success is what you made it, and everybody. Sure. I feel like a lot of people in Dallas had success, and they had it their own right. They just, I think they don't knew, didn't know how to accept it. Mm-hmm. I think they didn't know what success really is. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I don't even think that the people who was putting stuff out didn't see a million records sold or this million, I mean, thousand tapes sold or whatever like that, <laughs> that they still <coughs> influence yeah, somebody or somebody out there, they changed their life or somebody, yeah. you put a bug in somebody ear just through your music. If Yellow and Mo wouldn't have been beefing, I think that, that, that shit would have been huge. Right, right. But when they started beefing it, it fucked it up, and then people didn't want to come to Dallas because they like, nah, y'all out here popping each other. Like, we ain't, we ain't fuck with it. But that's why a lot of artists stopped coming to Dallas because okay. we were rap, robbing their ass when they come do a show, yeah, you know what I'm saying, taking their jewels. That's, that's what they think about Texas, period. <laughs> right, you know yeah, what I'm right. Saying? When yeah. I tell you every so, show we did down there, we got in a fight at the right, show. Right. Or before the show or after the right. show. Because mm-hmm. bounces. Right. Being fucking disrespectful. Yeah. They come in there just, just popping off at the mouth. We like, who the fuck y'all talk to? Like, mm-hmm. they think we local artists, so they talk how they wanted to. We like, oh, no, you got to fight. Because, huh? Yeah, because they think they big and swole, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But, if you're a local artist, they treat you like you ain't shit. <laughs> Which is crazy. Crazy. Well, that's the thing. You do got to, it work better if you blow up outside of your city before you blow up in your city first. Right, right. Because then when you come back, everybody love you. Yeah, everybody love you. But if you just hear. Yeah, but that's always. For us, you know what I'm saying? That's why, you know, that's why I say Dallas, we on that verge, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, we on that verge, but, like, you can go outside of just Dallas alone and go all around Texas yeah. and do what you need to do to, yeah. to be successful. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, yeah. like, 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 right, like right now, do y'all even know, like, how do it feel to have a Souls of Sins album selling for $120? Wow. Really? My, my daughter bought me one. 
Yeah, y'all got albums selling yeah. still online. Yeah, y'all album. Album. Man, your album. Man, your album is 100. <laughs> Matter of fact, let me pull it up. For my birthday, my daughter paid by the Souls of Sin CD for $150. Because I didn't even have one. What, $150? Yeah. So that's, that's even more, $150. Right there. Like, you know what Man. I'm saying? Like, well, okay, well, the shit, know, the shit went finished. gold independent. It went like, gold? I, yeah, it ended up going gold. What? Yeah. Okay. So. What? Pause. Oh. So you saying this record went gold yes, independently? Sir. Independent. Out the trunk. Out the trunk. And through T Town. Big and shout out to George. Shout out George Lopez. You know what I'm legend. saying? Legend. Legend. Mm -hmm. Made a lot of artists out here legend. Yes. He like, sure did. George he don't, he don't get, shit. He don't really get the flowers he deserves, you know nah. what I'm saying? Because he he let that shop out there in Bruton <laughs> be open for everybody to come through that boy. And we'll play you know, people shit local. Oh man! <laughs> what, what? I don't know, man. I, I tell you what, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be 100, man. We ain't see no money. But that wasn't no. You know, that was on the like deal. real nigga shit, bro. We ain't see no paper from that shit, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, like yeah, bro. Like plaques is great, but they don't pay bills. So y'all got a plaque. Yeah, we got plaques. We just got to, you got to, and another thing people don't know, you got to pay for your plaque, by the oh, way. Oh, yeah, you got to pay for yeah, your plaque. Yeah. You damn right, yeah, shit. Yeah, we got when plaques. You, when you contact that RIA, shit, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You fill out that paperwork. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, we, uh, yeah, we, you got to pay for that plaque out there. And that plaque look good. <laughs> and you got to pay for that frame, too, and yeah. the mock-up. You got to get the mock-up, too. You got to get the design, nigga. <laughs> if they want to pay the bill collector, like, yeah, yeah, this picture of the plaque ain't And tell them they got different sizes <laughs> and oh, yeah. shit, yo. You get the big ones, the red ones, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? If you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? So, what you mean you ain't get paid? How you not get paid? Because y'all selling out the truck. Okay. We we was putting all our money back into the music. Because right. we signed with Code Red, which was a local label. Right, Code CB. Red. Just want to say fuck CB. I just want to put that out. Damn. Damn. Fuck CB, bitch ass. Man, I, but, hey, I wanted to say it, my nigga, but yeah, shit. Yeah, fuck CB, bitch ass. Hey, but anyway. He, he, he did the honor for him, so I, I'm done with yeah. that. Shit. <laughs> he a whole, I, I, I'm going to say it, I swear to God, nigga, but. What? He a whole dumbass. We'll say that. Who is CB? He owned the label. Cold Red. So this yeah. CB the one who owned Cold Red. Yeah. Okay, all right. He His wife had money, so he got his wife to let him put some money into a label. Mm -hmm. We signed. We put it out. We doing our thing. And the shit start taking off. But he doing dumb shit like we getting radio plays in Louisiana, and they making radio edits out of songs that ain't radio songs. Right. Play them in rotation. Okay. He ain't got no albums in Louisiana. Yeah. We got people in Louisiana bootlegging shit for us. To sell out there and sending us money. Damn. Yeah, but we got to bootleg our own shit because he dumb. Then, like, we getting offers for distribution deals, 1.5, 1. Nah, he ain't doing it. Damn, man. Bad business. You know what I'm saying? Just, you, you, don't you know people for one at one time when y'all CD was out? At one, I think this was like 14 years ago. They had y'all CD like y'all from Kansas City. Oh yeah, they, they yeah, all kind of people. About all that shit, man. Say, man. People were doing us dirty. Like we went on uh, K104. They called the Sons of Soul. All kind of shit, man. You know I'm what like, I'm saying? Nah. What in the, what <laughs> and then like folks didn't know, like you know, some some of us don't really not control ourselves. But hey, we trying to see the bigger picture, right? Where we from? You know, we where we come from? You know what I'm heads. saying? Right, but, right. You know, shit, trying to make some paper. Right. So let some shit slide, but yeah, people been real disrespectful. You know but what I'm the, but who so who was mentoring y'all? Like who was managing y'all? Like who was doing the paperwork for that? Y'all was y'all learning the paperwork? We were time? learning it as we, we were learning. It. Yeah. Okay. Now All we right. had before that we had SO, and there were like eighty of us at the end, which was Southern Organization. Yeah. Okay. It's forever. All right. And uh, we did. We had rappers, singers, producers. Artists, we had everything. We would just put a little bit of everything in there, whatever people was good at their shit. All right. We we picked them up, and we would have meetings every week. We had classes. We went over contracts. We went over all this, and still got some fuck shit going. Like right. so, it's easy to do. Yeah, right. Because right, they right. hand you a contract that's three hundred pages. Right. So do you think he just didn't know the business? He, just, he didn't know he the was business. He was just fronting the money? Yeah, we didn't right. know the business. Right, right. And it, it, that made bad business. Right, 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 right. So I think, I think somebody just <coughs> shot him an idea yeah. and he may have had the money to do the shit. Now, he right. made he money on it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because he got paid. Right. But Because yeah. his wife had to get paid, which I get. You got to recoup. But we still didn't. And, and to lead the, the, the deal, we had to have one of them discussions. You right. Know, where you like... 
sit that right there. Right. We gonna talk. Like, right, right, right. Nah, nah. We done. <coughs> no. What was he getting paid from? From the CD set. <laughs> but it wasn't translating farther down to us. So was this with the distribution company or was this just from off the streets? So, distribution and off the streets. Okay. Now we went gold just with distribution. Right, right. Okay. Off the streets, out the trunk was other shit. Okay, that was other and shit. And it got to All a right. point where we started keeping money because we like, shit, we ain't seeing nothing. Right, right. So that's where y'all money was coming yeah. from for off the streets and we keeping all, it. we all were hustlers, so we right. ain't just going to sit there and be broke. Like, I finna right. eat. Like, right, right. <laughs> we had a gang of that shit, so we got off of it. You know what I'm right. saying? And where he fucked up is we had, like I said, it's 80 people. Right. All talented artists. Like KD. Right. Katie, uh, yeah, Bunky, UGP, all yeah, them, like, yeah, shout out Bunky, Big, big yeah. Bub, yeah. like, yeah, Big Bub, man, man, how the fuck y'all get a hook up with Big Bub? You talking, you talking about Big Bub fuck with Cotton Mouth, right? Yeah, Big Bub, yeah, was Big Bub, that's what I thought. That's yeah, why Big I Bub was, Bub was Big Bub yeah. was out there grinding with us. He every always day. grinding. Yeah, yeah, Big Bub is man, he that boy everywhere. Hit him up song, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. he is on a hit him up song. Big Bub, my brother, man, man, matter of fact. Strapped with anger, picture me strapped with SKs with warning signs of danger. Mentally focused on everything up in my sight. Don't have much for words, but I'm quick to ride tonight. The done that, done been there, and every road is still the same. Blind road if I hate, but Lord the Lord knows he can feel my pain. Cause in the ugly my wife about the game of life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And Ray Ray did down there all the production on there. So Ray Ray is the producer. That boy, bad boy. Yeah, man. So, like, all the, that the boy, shit that did come further down in Dallas and made more legends mm. started back there with us. Like, right. we just yeah, kept moving. Man. Like, there was a lot of legendary oh, people in Dallas that still so the, great. So, the Grove was actually together. Y'all had a gumbo. Y'all had a pot going. But, but then, but we see, was even getting people, people out the Grove. It just like, like, I always worked at certain jobs when I was younger. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And I just meet people. Right. You know what I'm saying? I just... Getting numbers, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody can be used for something, you know right. what I'm saying? So, shit. That's why I like the network. Right, so you, know you was saying? putting a lot of stuff together but as far yeah, as me. Man, okay. You know what I'm saying? And when you came in, you yeah. had to, whatever you did at the meeting, you had to get up in front of everybody and, and do what you do. And perform right. your talent. Perform and everybody, your talent. Yeah, everybody okay. voted on, like, shit. Right. They in, they out. Yo, you and, say and, you nigga buzz it on that nigga. No, some people got laughed out. <laughs> yeah, get laughed out. Yeah, <laughs> some people got laughed out. You, got, about you got a room full of people. It's right. like 20 people in the room. So that's your mini crowd. Right. What's your talent? And everybody in there so helped us put the soul scene yeah. together because we drop a track. We did JP, the kitchen. Right. Or yeah. JP. That's Shot. where it was all recorded. Shot. Another legend yeah, in Dallas. That's another Don't get legend in Dallas. Yeah. Oh, like in the kitchen making his and right. <laughs> JP. And we started yes, with JP before he had the studio. He had that shit in the back of his house in the garage. Goddamn right. Whoa. Nigga. Like old What was school. this in Garland? Yeah. Yes, okay. Sir. Yeah, out there in Garland, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh -huh. We were early with JP and fuck with it from then on. But okay. we would do songs, and then everybody <clears throat> would hear them. We'd play them with them. Everybody was like, yeah, this, that, that. we get the input from everybody. So everybody had a say-so. Right. Going to that bitch. And we recorded the album <laughs> in like two weeks. Oh, the, what? The one that's out? Yeah. The Soul said we recorded that whole album in well, two weeks. So, okay, all right. So a couple of questions. One, where'd the name come from? So Sin, you came up with that, didn't you? Man, okay, so... <laughs> Me and a couple of my partners that I grew up with, we at first we was uh PGN, psychotic gangster niggas. Cause first we're gonna be Pleasant Grove niggas, then we were like, nah. And so then we were like, we're gonna be psychotic gangster niggas. Right. And so bam. Uh I came from Spruce and I started going to Brian Adams and I hooked up with some guys, man, you know what I'm saying? And they took me over to the apartments and uh shit, that's where I met Grip and a whole bunch of my homies. Uh, matter of fact, it's my little bro named Kane. You Kane. know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, he brought me over there, introduced me to everybody, man. It just, we hooked yeah. up, and it's like we really made a business move. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So, uh, well, not before that, I take it back. We changed our name to Souls of Sin. Okay. And, uh, Cause we was on that goddamn gangster nip shit and all that bullshit. We listen to that bullshit. I kind of figured. You know what I'm saying? Right, so, right. so when I came to them, that's what it was. Right. You know what I'm saying? And shit, we just made like a little old business move. Mm -hmm. And shit, we just put the group in place. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Shout out to my nigga Running Things. He one of the original members. You know what I'm saying? Running Things. Running Things. So, okay. Yeah. So, cause y'all, cause y'all had the little, the, the, 
the dark side. Yeah, you know what man. I'm saying? Because Dallas had Dallas had a run of the dark side around that time too. Yeah. It was a lot. Do you remember a lot of people who was coming out with the dark music at that time? Like uh, Oak Cliff Assassin. Oak Cliff Assassin was yeah. one. You uh, know what I'm saying? Damn. Uh, what was that boy name? Uh, uh, KPG from yeah. Ag Town. Yeah. Uh, and uh, what was that? Uh, Cat Pillar. No, you don't remember Cat Pillar? But they were some ones on some dark music too. But well, what, yeah. what? But the thing was, y'all music wasn't dark. No. See when they when you actually listen to your music, your music wasn't dark. You was giving people food for thought. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'm gonna tell you. But it's the harsh reality. Of but what it's you the harsh with, yeah, right. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell you this though. One song, I mean one track on that motherfucker was dark as hell though. Crucifix. Cru yeah. Crucifix. That shit was, nigga, that uh, shit was, nigga, that, <laughs> nigga, that shit was like, nigga, who came up with that? That was Grip, wasn't it? I think, I don't know, man. I, I just, don't even remember. That was I a think flash. I thought we were vibing to some shit. I don't know. Right, 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 right. We used to get together yeah. and Ray Ray put a beat on. We uh -huh. like, yeah. all right, go. Like, right, right, got right, hooked. right. This, this, they're like, yeah, that, but hold on, change this to that. And then 10 minutes later, hook done. Nah, I think. Man, that, that bitch should be in horror movies to this day. What? That uh, motherfucker right there. That should, that bitch should be the start of every motherfucking horror movie today. You know what I'm saying? Ray Ray was on that beat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, for real. But that bitch... I like this shit here, man. But shit, that's, real, what made, bro. that's what made you know, Soul see a different bitch. thing, though, because right. he was on that dark shit. Right. Grip was on that New Orleans pipe mm -hmm. shit. And I was on that deep shit. So right. it was kind of a mix of all of us. And we all just kind of put our little pieces in there and put it together like a fucking puzzle I, where I it was everything. I was like dog shit. I was just in them streets, man. Yeah, because that's not the music. The music tells. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Man. You can tell. That's why I say it was like the image was, but you know what I'm saying? The name was, but when you look deep into it, it was like, oh, okay, all right. When you listen to it, you're like, all right, you know what I'm saying? Nah, they, they spitting that real shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, just like, you know, we should, you know what I'm saying? Like, but you just... Doing it on in y'all way, you know what yeah, I'm saying? So That's y'all way. Give it that Dallas feel, yeah, man. Yeah, That's you know what I'm saying? saying. God damn it! So who, who, who all have y'all worked with? Cause y'all already say y'all don't work with Sibo. Like who else y'all don't work with? You know, Sibo uh, had a chance to work with Bushwick, but we didn't. He wanted to Bushwick with Trippy. He wanted too much. Rest in peace, R.I.P. Wick. <laughs> man, R.I.P. Bushwick yeah. Bill. But I sat there and chopped it up with it for like three hours. Right. Bush will I always stayed in Dallas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and plus in the Grove. Yeah, I'm always working or doing something. Yeah. Missing out, I'm telling yeah. you. Yeah. Work, like, shit, we, don't, we still work with tons. Of, like right now, I, trying to get I rap. Uh -huh. But I'm more focused on the production. Okay. So I do a little bit of both. But I, I be shooting people from Dallas free beats. I'm like, right. shit. Right. Just, what, what you going to do with it? Right, what you going to do? There. Mm -hmm. I, I want... I want Dallas to jump. So I'll be trying right. to support and help people from the city. Right. Back we doing that while I learned to make beats because we couldn't get no fucking beats. Right. I first started rapping, I'm like, where you get beats? Like I'm rapping over other people instruments. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Making them goddamn uh, cassette tapes. Yeah. Tissue yeah. in yep. that motherfucking mm -hmm. shit. And going from deck to yeah. deck. Dubbing over. You know what I'm yep. saying? Mm -hmm. we and so shit. shit too. I got mm -hmm. in a fucking settlement and got like five grand. I'm like, I'm going to go buy me a keyboard. Yeah, yeah. What kind of keyboard you get? <sighs> ASR 10 was the oh. first one. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, that's that Kanye. Yeah, yeah, that's that old school. Yeah, that's that old school. Yeah, what you know what I'm saying? What's that? What's that? What's that? Two seconds, ten second sample? Five seconds. Five seconds. Yeah, yeah. I knew it was something like that. Yeah. And you yeah. had to, but you had to speed that bitch up and sample it <laughs> as fast as it the record will play. Right. So you get more of the sample. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then I know, I know people ain't gonna know, but there was this things called uh, floppy disk. Uh huh. <laughs> Yeah. A little disc that went bad all the fucking time. All the time. Oh, so you had to make five and six copies of songs and fucking instruments. Everything was on there. Yeah. Everything. But still, it wasn't no fucking YouTube to figure nah. shit out. You just had to sit there and fuck with it. You had to sit there and fuck with it. Or you had to hook up with somebody else who got something like that oh, yeah. and watch, you know what I'm saying? Or left say, hey, woo, woo, woo. And then you start learning. Oh, nigga, I can put expansion packs in oh, this yeah. bitch. Oh, I can what, what? You be like, okay, you get turned up. You yeah. take something somewhere, be like, how you do that? Oh, yeah. just this, 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 and mm -hmm. then it just spread. It just spread, you know what I'm saying? So, like. Chinese again. Oh, so yeah. So, like. Chinese talk. It's, it's three of y'all in the group. Yeah. Yeah, man. How did the group just form? How did well, it take form? Three three in, in an unofficial. Zero was an unofficial. Zero. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Zero Shout out unofficial. Zero, because y'all had Zero on the track. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Jazz yeah. on the track. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Y'all had a lot. On the A one, A one, it was A one part of the group. A one was, was in a group I was with before, 
It was yeah. me, A One, Big Six, and and my boy Casper. Yeah, okay. we was in a group, and then we just kind of decided to do our thing, and then we all linked up and did the soul sin. So I, they were still dope. So I'm like, shit, y'all. Right. We got this opportunity. Let's right. go. Yeah. Right. So we just brought our peoples with us. So y'all never came to like. I mean, like, how did y'all come together and, like, just say, okay, well, this is this is going to be the three or the four, you know, because you said zero. Shit, I ain't going to lie. With, with us in, in doing the SO thing, we all ended up, because we had heads of the yeah. SO, so that there was some organization. So the heads had to, everybody had to say so, but the heads had, had more say so. Okay. And we all ended up pretty much being heads, and we was all dope. So right. we just kind of gravitated toward each other. Okay. Yeah. And we all like just linked. Like it would, it's cause like me, I was just free. Uh, UGP was on the block in a circle freestyling. Right. And I was coming off the cut and going back to the apartments back there right. by the Royal Orleans. Uh huh. So we go on, I'm going through, they rapping. So I just get in the middle of the circle, start spitting. I'm like, fuck it. And they like, damn, you dope. So yeah. they knew grip now, so they took me over there. Okay. They introduced me to grip. And then I met Champ and we just, we went from there. Right, right, right. So how so how how did y'all know it was time to like say, okay, let's get with a label, put a project out and try to make some work, you know what I'm saying, without having like previous work out before then, or did y'all have previous work out? We were working on an an S O album, yeah. You know what I'm saying? With everybody okay. in SO. Yeah. Okay. And then when C B popped up, he <laughs> were like, Shit, I wanna fuck with y'all. Let me hear what everybody got. And he was like, okay, I want to put y'all out. Okay. And then we can work uh -huh. our way down. Uh-huh. So we were going to be the first project, but everybody else was going to come too. Okay. And it just, like I said, shit didn't go right. So yeah, he fumbled like the that. bag because we fumbled too, though. Like, we made big mistakes. Like, we right. was recording the Soul Sin album. I respect that, how you own up to you. Well, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We fucked up. We young and dumb. Right, right. We from the hood. Yeah. We didn't know no better. Right. Like, so For when sure. we was working on the album, CB was like, say, this dude named Lil John. Who, who's starting to take off? Y'all want to get him on a song? So he let us hear some of the music, and we like, nah, that's not what we do. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right, right. You. <laughs> so we just pass on Lil John like yeah. it wasn't shit. Right, right, like it wasn't shit. Yeah. Like they Lil John, yeah. but like they nah, nah. <laughs> yeah, that's not what we do. <laughs> then he comes to it, he likes, hey, these dudes taking off New Orleans, you want to get them on? I was like, what's the name of the group? They're like, it's the Hot Boys. I'm like, what the fuck is a Hot Boy? I'm like, that shit sound real feminine. Like, right, right. yeah, what the fuck is a Hot Boy, bro? Like, <laughs> That shit sounded suspect. <laughs> God, 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 well, and nobody you know knew who the fuck they was or, or none of that. I'm just saying, though, like, I didn't, I had heard BG and them shit before, you know what I'm saying? Right. Them niggas wasn't listening to that shit, you know what I'm saying? Right. At that time, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, but I knew that, I'm like, nah, yeah. these ain't them high boys for yeah. real, because I'm thinking, like, oh, shit, nigga, I'm going to see BG and them, yo. Nah, it was them, yeah. We, nah, we, these we, some niggas that were dancing, these niggas had some totally different names and shit. But they were hot boys, you know what I'm saying? It was weird as fuck, bro. Yeah, Damn. bro. <laughs> Whatever this motherfucking. So you mean he was yeah. impersonators? It was some dancing niggas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Damn. So yeah. oh, so they were somebody, but they was known down there. I guess so. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, but shit. And then uh, damn. What was the other dude? Uh, that was the name of that group. They had the. Uh, the badass yellow boy. You oh, talking about uh, you and LV? Yeah, you and LV. You know, every time they would come down, they loved the shit out of us. Right. Every time they would hit town, they'd be like, say we're such a sub club, we in the VIP, y'all come down, kick it. Like, they, we was just tight. They like, soon as soon as we met, they were like, Y'all real. And they told us about all that mystical shit before it came out. They were like, motherfucker was the cheerleader in high school. For right. Him. Like, right, right. That trying is... to be rough. He's soft as shit. Like, Wait, and y'all didn't get no track from you and LV? We never ended up doing nothing. Man. We talked about it every right. time we kicked it. We just yeah. every time we kicked it, we just kicked it. We didn't ever do yeah. music. Right, right, right. Nah, we that, just sat there and chat. Just vibe. Yeah. yeah, just vibe. You Fifth War Boys. We got right. gold with Fifth War Boys. Fifth War Boys, yeah. Almost yeah. boxed them when we first met them. Ooh. All of us finna fight. Then they whole click us. What happened with the Fifth Ward no, Boys? No, 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 no. It wasn't the Fifth Ward no, Boys? Yeah, it was. Because remember Soundcheck, when we was in Houston, we did the Fifth Ward Boys and look, no, not Lil Kiki. Yeah, yes, Lil Kiki. Was. Yeah, that's, Lil Kiki and Fifth Ward Boys. That's, that's what it was. Soundcheck. It, it was what it, it was over. It wasn't Fifth Ward Boys. It was Lil Kiki, man. No, it was Soundcheck with Fifth Ward Boys. Remember? Cause, and then we got cool because we didn't back down from their ass. And they were like, all right. So after that, we were dope. See, that's when them niggas at Soundcheck, we were still at the room. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. 
Cause whatever it was, you know what I'm saying. I we see yo at the time. Side. You know what I'm saying. The, right. I see yo at the time. Uh, him and little Kiki. You know what I'm saying. They were kicking it whatever. Woo, right. Woo. And we supposed to be in, over at the little old place where we supposed to be forming at. You know what I'm saying. Getting our sound checked together and shit. Like a whole bunch of little niggas from Dallas came came with us down there to East Texas. You know what I'm saying. Okay. And shit, uh, I think Rapper, I stayed uh, across the street and shit. Hell, they wanted to know what was going on, too. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's how it all, you know what I'm saying? And after the... You know what I'm saying? Whole bunch of shit. You know what I'm saying? But it was never nothing with, you know what I'm saying, the Fifth War Boy. Oh, no, we got super cool after that. It was just, you know, folks got upset, you know what I'm saying, because these two guys was kicking it, you know what I'm saying, partying. Uh Uh-huh. While we supposed to be, you know what I'm saying, doing sound check. You know oh, okay. Now, so they want to handle business. That aspect, yeah, I wasn't there. For, I, I know about that, but I, right. there, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Then we ended but, up at the Fifth Ward Boys so, record yeah. release party at Chocolate Town. That shit, wow, fun. Like, yeah. but, they, but you know, Fifth Ward Boys end up going gospel. Did? Yeah, they did a Fifth Ward uh, gospel track with the with the pussy weed and alcohol. And change the the gospel. Dang. You know what I'm saying? Man, I've been trying man. to find it on the internet, man. They like it's like either they took it down, but yeah, Are they you were, serious, man. Nigga, I'm serious in a heart attack. You know I know what they saying? tried to replace the Fifth War Boys with some new Fifth War Boys, and that shit didn't work. It was, I, nah, it can't work. You gotta have the originals. Yeah, you, you know, know what I'm saying? You gotta have the originals. But it was the other two. It wasn't um uh uh it wasn't double O. I have to get rock. Yeah, I think it was just yeah. I think I know E Rock was one of them. You okay. know what I'm saying? Yeah, he was definitely in there. You know what I'm saying? E Rock, saying? stupid yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's my favorite one, man. Right, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So speaking of favorite ones, like man, y'all got some some stories. So who else y'all don't been on tour with or like, you know what I'm saying? Then try to do tracks with or shit. anything? We did shows with shit, everybody. We did shows mm-hmm. with Tila, Street Military, Shout out to you. Yeah, Street like, Military. It was, it was a, Ghetto Twins, like it was. Man, Ghetto yeah, Twins man. was hot. Say when uh, they used to have a UTV. Yeah, UTV under the bridge. Man, it's, it's, I swear, man, it seemed like no limit folks would come through there. Right. You know what I'm saying? But we couldn't get to them. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, but we didn't say like he said, Ghetto Twins. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Then we got banned from K104. What, how y'all get banned? What, what, the, what the fuck is going on with Souls of Sin? How y'all get banned from K104? Because yeah. we were wild. We didn't take that bullshit. So we yeah. doing a show, and it was us and. Uh, Shazam from H Town. Yeah, Shazam. And Shaq that's the was one, there. that's the one who passed away, right? Yeah, there yeah. was a whole bunch yeah, of people. Yeah, R.I.P. Shazam. And yeah. K one hundred and four was doing this thing, and they were like, "All right, we're gonna do this. Y'all get three songs, so we get all our shit together." And we go up there right before we going on. They like, "Now nah, y'all gonna do one song." Like what? And he's like, "No, nah, yeah, just one song." Like, "Nah, we we got three. But yeah, but y'all gotta do one." <laughs> all right, so we get on stage and we like, "Fuck that." And we did the one, and when the next song go, he shut down like, nah, nah, run that next one. This is run it. Right. So we run it, and we do that one, and then we do our third one, and we get off stage, and they like, y'all supposed to see what it is. Y'all told us. So then after that, we chilling, uh-huh. and we just at the club watching the rest of the show. And one of the dudes, not with us, but with somebody that was with us, stole something from one of the K104 people. I don't even know who the fuck it was or what it is, but they stole their bag. And then I got into it with Marie Kelly's husband. Because uh, he was sitting at the table with a bunch man. of punks, and he kept staring at me. And I was like, what the fuck is the issue, bro? Like, right, right. So then we got into it with the bouncers. And right. Yeah, it was... It was it was uh, ugly. Yeah, it was And what this, what, this was at the, this was at K-104? At K-104? No, no, K-104 <laughs> put it on. Okay, they put it on. It was yeah. at, oh, it's, oh, it, it, it wasn't that. You know, it was distributed there and shit. So it wasn't in the Grand Perry over there nah, at the nah, uh, radio nah, station. No, it, okay. it, it was at the GG. You know, oh, yeah, GG's in North Dallas. Because yeah. they were showing the yeah. club yeah. Oh, African club. That's Nigerian African yeah, club. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what it was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so GG's, Lakeside, Yeah, Lakeside, Park Ave. Yeah, Park Ave, all them. Mm-hmm. That's when clubs was lit, lit though. That's right. when. Wow. That's when you can actually go dance behind a girl. Yeah. And motherfucker yeah. ain't looking at you all funky and yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? And the, like, the club was closed <laughs> when everybody got mates. Don't even dance together. Yeah, no don't even dance the together. girls dance but, with each other. And but niggas say, just sit back looking like. Nah, we took that shit serious when Goody Mob say they don't dance no, no more. Man. They don't dance no more. You know what I'm saying? We took it serious. 
And then the old school, old school, I used to kick it like in two cubs and bobbies. Oh, yeah. two yeah. cubs. Yeah. What the, that two cubs yeah. South Dallas, ain't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. The ghetto yeah. and all that. When it was time to leave, you had yeah, to pull yeah. out the, the yeah. heat. Yeah, blah, yeah. Blah, Lady blah, Love, blah, Lady blah, Love too. Yeah. Cry Babies. Cry yeah. Babies. Yeah. Yeah. Cry Babies, baby, yeah. yeah. Oh, we you who? We just had to ask Cry Babies. And then playmates. Ooh, oh, yeah, playmates. Ooh, <laughs> Strippers wait. just just punching people I'm, in the I'm face while they on stage. Say <laughs> hey, what? Uh, uh, I, ain't, I ain't gonna fuck with that. What we are gonna do? one night, Crawback, we acted ass. Yeah. Ooh, it was like a motherfucking movie, man. man Which like, club did you get shot at? Shit, at uh, Satin Dog. Okay. okay. Off the Loop. The After Hours. What are you talking about? What, right on, uh, uh, what we talking about over there by uh, Buckner? Yeah. And what was it? Uh, what, what was you, what, what the name? What you say the name was again? Satin Doll. Uh, 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 uh. Shit, what the fuck? Else? Cause they did have an after hour over there, yeah. but I don't remember the name. So, yeah. so we got like shot three different over names. There. Yeah, man. Yeah, was, they, that's probably why. Yeah, okay. Stupid shit went on, man. Godly, yeah, man. man. That stupid shit went on, man. It was, man, say, man, we, it was like a movie, bro. Again, <laughs> <laughs> I swear, man. We can't make this shit up, man. Like, this shit be for real, man. But like, see, that was our issue, though. We never, ever disrespected nobody that didn't disrespect us. Right. Us. Yeah, we didn't But well, once the disrespect no was in there. We didn't there. Ever start no shit, man. Right. We didn't, shit. we didn't start no shit. But if it was disrespect to be had. But it comes. But yeah, we was going to partake. Shit just so happened. Just we a, love people. To right. On God, nigga. Yeah. Hey, man. We I love never, people. Bro. We was finna do a show. Was it Safari? Where we didn't get to do the show? We going to do a show, and we go. we show up. And the bounce is just disrespectful as shit. Like, mm-hmm. we trying to go in the club, trying to do our sound check. They blah, blah, blah. Everybody waiting in line to get in the club. They woofing and shit. So we like, fuck you, bitch. Step your ass out here. So they come out. There's like eight of them. There were like 60 people with it. So they all get out. And they like, nah, we don't want no problem. Like, <laughs> it was, y'all good? We don't want no issue with it. We didn't even get to do the show. But we sold probably 300 CDs in the parking lot. Oh, shit. Because everybody standing in that line was yeah. like, we fuck with y'all. Yeah. We want to get one of y'all CDs. But that's when Dallas was good. You could sell CDs. I remember you could just Man. go anywhere, everywhere around Dallas. Oh, yeah. Man. Pop a trunk, just pull up, woo woo. You could sit at the store all day and people was going to buy CDs. Man, I tell you what. What? I remember them days, nigga, we stood on John West and Buckner, nigga, selling CDs, nigga. I had some of my partners I used to go to school with, walk up, nigga. He would look at nigga shit. And nigga started talking down like a bitch. <laughs> Trip me out. I said, God damn, that's supposed to be my boy. Right, supposed to be your and boy. And we on the corner, nigga. We got right. t-shirts and every motherfucking thing. CD. Right. Oh, yeah, we had vinyl tapes, Man. shirts, posters. 12 inch, all that shit. So what 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 lesson you learned from that? Or what 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 I mean, what I mean, cause that, I mean I see it made you feel some type of way. So yeah. what so it taught you something. It just made me go hard at the time. Right, man. right. You know what I'm saying, man? Like I love that shit. Right. Nah, for real. Well, see, they do the same thing now. People will like your shit, but they ain't sharing it. Right, they ain't sharing it. Right, you know what I'm saying? It's like you supposed to be my my yeah. my folk. Like, right. Yeah. Why you, why you ain't sharing my shit? Man, say. You somebody else doing. You be like, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. You ain't sharing my shit. I appreciate you <laughs> liking my shit, but man. sharing my shit. Like, man, you hey man, it be hard out here, man. What's up? It be hard out here, man. That's why, like, sometimes I know, like. I try not to put too much on the people that's close to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause I, you know what I'm saying? Cause then to me, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm trying to hustle them too. You know what I'm saying? To yeah. a certain strength. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But I'm not hustling them. It's just that I know. All right, y'all know me. Y'all see me. Ooh, you need you know, the support. You know what I'm saying? I need the support. But I go out here and get this support. And then that day, you gonna need my support. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully you support me. You know what I'm yeah, saying? That's yeah, how I look yeah. at it. It's like I try to share everybody's shit. Yeah, I, see. I try to. You know what I'm saying? But one thing I learned about Dallas, man, it's a lot of us. Speaking of that, like, Bunky just released a new song with him and UGP back together again. Man, that's, man. Shit so, go hard. Did you see Eddie on that boy? Eddie was on that boy eating. Yeah. Boy, Eddie yeah. always kill it, though. Yeah, Eddie, yeah. Eddie man, shout out Eddie Kane, man. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Ball was acting a fool. Yeah, Ball, Ball. yeah. They were all in there. Hey, it was like... Ball. It was a fresh, you know what I'm saying, thing. Look, you and know what I'm saying? And it even had a little limb on. I'm yeah. like, okay. Yeah, yeah. Man, say, man, it's, it's time for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, it's y'all time. We were talking about that on the way over. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like I tell you, man, music ain't, it's always recycled. It can always come back. It ain't never too late for nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's just because yep. we always came from the point where it was the love of it. 
You know what I'm saying? That's something we love to do. We get that back, you know what I'm saying? Hell, shit, maybe shit. Hell, we can get more plaques. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You never know. That's what they say Prince would do. He'd yeah. record a song, mm -hmm. and if he didn't think it was time for that song, he'd put it up. Yep. And they'd be like, what are you going to do with it? It's not time for that yet. Right. Like, that ain't going to work right now. Nah, yeah, fact. Man. But a hit's a hit. Yeah, here's the hit. You know what I'm saying? You can't never deny a hit. No That's matter what it is. That's why people sample because you right. sample a hit and man, make a hit. Man, I, man, if you tell me a dude down there almost fifty, back in I, back in the uh, early 2000s, come out with Gundam style, <laughs> Same. and rip the internet. You know what yeah. I'm saying? A billion streams. Yeah. Shit, Killer Mike out here. What he 49? Man, doing his thing. Winning Grammys. You know what I'm right. saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I making damn, a dope ass I, album. I damn near thought he had the Grammy on his chain for me, bro. <laughs> Him and Run the Jewels been killing it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, like, hey, it's proof in the pudding. Man, E-40 still out here killing it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Be legit. E-40 never stopped. Man, yeah. shout out to Be Legit. You know what I'm saying? Like, two yeah, times yeah, Be yeah. Legit. Be, be Legit out here killing it. Young Bleed out here still yeah, doing man. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out to And then, Bleed. um, what's the boy? Mac and Fiend Shit, that on their tour. That last man. Face album was a monster. Yes, and man, say, man, prayers out to space. You know, he in the hospital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he fighting, you know what I'm saying? He, he's hopefully he doing better Shit, now. Shit, I was trying to see uh, about donating them an organ whenever he was trying to find one. Man, it's like, hey, yeah, he was looking. Yeah, I'm telling you, I tell you this, he was looking like a motherfucker, but I think they, I think everything good right now, but I ain't heard nothing, no update on it. I need to check into it. And people gonna miss him when he gone. Yeah, Legend. people gonna miss him because, man, a lot of people them passing right now, man. That's what's crazy. Everybody Fat been man passing scoop, yeah. back to back. Man, Fat Man Scoop, you know what I'm saying? God damn, man. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, man, like, what were you? Rich Homie Corn, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Tito Jackson, you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who who else was the. Uh, um, and that's why you gotta be careful with them goddamn pills. Frankie Beverly, he uh, uh, Yeah, Frankly Beverly, you know what I'm saying? And it was the, the actor, That's old school. Uh, Earl Jones, Jr. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Darth Vader did. Oh, it's, it's crazy, man. It's crazy out here, man. And it's a lot more, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you know, a, a, a chant that just passed away yeah, from man. Dallas, you know what I'm saying? R.I.P. Yeah. It's a lot, man. Shit, man. So, man, but I, I like... I, it's a blessing to be here, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, once again, I want to give y'all y'all flowers. I appreciate y'all, you know what I'm saying? Like, appreciate even coming you, up bro. here and even blessing me like that, man. It's like a lot of people in Dallas don't understand, too, as us, as, you know, the OGs. It's like a lot of people weren't privy to get your CD. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people wasn't there in that era. They wasn't privy yeah. to witness that area. So it's like it's sometimes... It's up to certain people, you know what I'm saying, to make sure you keep that that name or that face and connect, you know what I'm saying? Because in Dallas, we got a big disconnect. Yeah. It's a, Especially from the youngsters to the... Yeah, even, we went hard back right. at that time. Man. It was we a special hard. time in right. Dallas, too. Yeah, right. It was man. different. We were trying to get it, bro. Mm -hmm. Nah, for real. Y'all definitely were trying to get it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, I think that's what we got blind to because we, that when we, once you start chasing that dollar, everything else is like... Like, you know, when them horses got the blinders, you know what I'm saying? Vision. Yeah, tunnel vision. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <coughs> you got a goal. You trying to get there. You ain't worried about none of else. You ain't worried about nothing else. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like, we die like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, and it's like, we don't want to, you know, put ourselves in that position to where we, like, all we did was try to fight for this right here, to get this right here, you know what I'm saying? And never got to enjoy life. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's one thing we, as a, as a people, we never had to do is enjoy yeah. life. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's the thing. We always so busy just surviving. For surviving. You know what I'm saying? And when you get to live, you're like, oh, this is different. Like, it's mm -hmm. a whole different level. Right, man. Like, I'm firmly middle class for the first time in my life. Shit. <laughs> like, well, nah, for real. Like, so, at this time in Dallas, you know, it was, like we say, it was a different time. It was, it was a good era for us. You know what I'm saying? Also, it was a bad era, too, because there was a lot of stuff going yeah, on, too, in our era, too. And I tell a lot of people, the same thing that's going on today was going then. Back then, it was just more, you know. Oh, yeah. Scooter, you know, around you knew what areas that was going yeah, down then. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, now yeah. it's just everywhere. And back then it was yeah. more personal too. Right, like, right. It was more personal. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. know who we going after. You know what I'm saying? And if it was fuck you, you had to tell somebody fuck you right. to their face. That's like, what it was, you know. But what you think about the new era? Like the new era, like it's like how you think about the music today in Dallas? Shit, I've been seeing uh, the new Dallas. Right. That shit straight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I wish we could have did some shit like that back then. Right. There's some people out here killing it. They, right. they, they out here doing their thing. Them youngsters 
get into that money. My girl, man, absolute shit right. out here killing hey, it. I, I salute them youngsters, man, shit, because if you can feed folks or hire right. you know what I'm saying? I don't knock it, bro. Right, for real. Just be safe and, and be clean about it. Right, right. That's it. Right, because what's the difference, too, from y'all coming up in the Grove then and the Grove now? You know what I'm saying? Because the Grove now, man, I remember... See, now don't get me popular. wrong. It's popular, like bro. I remember when Stampede was staying in yeah, the Grove yeah. and stuff like yeah. that, you know. And but in the Grove, and the, don't get me wrong, the Grove was always greedy and stiff, you know what I'm saying? Now, but them boys now, them boys now, I'm talking about them boys got <laughs> switch on every block. <laughs> yeah, it'd be yeah. wild out there now. But it's yeah. it is also be I don't think the the younger generation, the we we had the the good luck to like I said, it was personal. Right, right. Wasn't no talking shit online, and then you get surprised when you see somebody. Right. Like when you talking that shit, somebody, oh, I heard you talk shit. Yeah, I'm talking shit. Fuck you. Like, right. it is what it is. You say it again in their face. Right. But now online, motherfuckers get to talking a lot of shit and they feel safe. And they forget motherfuckers see you and can touch you. Yeah. And in the yeah. Grove, they, 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 they ain't playing that bullshit. They will touch you. Right. They will touch you. You know what I'm saying? Like, and but see, the, see, everybody don't know this This online shit is just, it's just a window. It's just a window, you know what I'm saying? And and it's and you know, it's designed, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But you gotta know how to play it, you know, you gotta know how to dance around it, you, you know what I'm saying? Shit. Yeah, you gotta pimp it, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's because it's definitely gonna pimp you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's gonna have you sitting up here uploading thousands, thousands, and thousands of videos oh, yeah. just for a penny, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit, I you got know. my SoundCloud, and I got my Beat Stars. And yeah. I got, you know, you got, got to do, all of you got to do all that Beat Stars, all that shit. Then you got to promote it. And every last one of this stuff, when you, when at the end of the day, you always give me your money. Yeah. Your money is always coming out the pocket. You know what I'm saying? If you want to do Beat Stars, you got to whoop, whoop, the upload, the, the shit. Is, you know what I'm saying? You know? <laughs> you, you got know? to pay. And if, but if you don't believe in you, ain't nobody going to believe in you. Right, You right. got to be willing to put your money where your mouth is. Right. Yeah. Speaking of believing in you, like, who who was, like, like who was believing in y'all? Like, what was keeping y'all going? Like, what, what, what made y'all not stop? What, what made y'all say, like, pow? Shit, I got four kids. Well, five now. But right. <laughs> ain't no stopping. You you can't stop. Ain't well, you no, still you still popping kids out? I got a six-year-old now. Oh, you a yeah, beast? Yeah, yeah, I stay making them. This is what I do. I that boy seeing a beast. I got them white trashy genetics. I look at a girl wrong, she get pregnant. Like, uh, and my oldest 30 and my youngest six. Ooh. That's what yeah. keep you looking young, huh? He wild, though. Uh, yeah, that's what keep you looking yeah. young. And he, and he love all this shit in here. Right, okay. All he be right. in the studio on the keyboard hitting yeah. it. Yeah, mm-hmm. And he go to one of them night schools, so they got arts and they got piano. He in kindergarten was doing piano. Right. So he he the next one. Life be life and man. Man, man. life be life and man. What the fuck do that mean? Man, shit. Man, I, man, what the fuck? That's that new gen. They said, man, look here, man. We from the back. We back in the... I know, man. Nah, nigga, we, we, what? Nigga, but shit you know, real out here, my nigga. It's like, yeah, you know what I'm talking about, nigga? Yeah, nigga, nigga, I'm stressing, yeah, my yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yo, my nigga, bills, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, this bitch tripping, one, my one nigga. One step you know forward, two saying? steps back. So, you know so, what it is. So life be life. Life be life. Yeah, man, that's the clean version. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit. You know, before that Pyrex was around and you right, right. hear that crack and you're yeah, like, oh, oh shit. shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, man, I've been married them. 20 years. Yeah, you know I mean, congratulations, man. Yeah, you know man. what I'm saying? That's a good thing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Bro. For real. And a lot of life changing experiences. Life you know, changing, yeah. You know what I'm saying, man? You know. I've been right. married six. Six. Yeah, man. Right. Like, yeah, so man. the Souls of Sin album, was that, was that like, the only project that that got distributed, what what, what like where did y'all go after that? That's Cause the I was only like, one that made it to the light of day. Right. Yeah. And what for like okay? Cause so it was when, hard to find y'all like well, after that. When when that shit didn't go, <laughs> and we we were like fuck it, we gonna move on. So we took a trip to Houston. All uh -huh. of us. We went and talked to Rap a Lot. We went and talked to Big Time. We went and talked to what was the record label to put the movie out with three two? Uh, uh, Dirty South. Uh, uh, Rick Shop. Yeah, Rick yeah, Rick Shop. Uh huh. Dirty Third. Talked to them. We talked yeah. Everybody down there. We took our album down there, played it, listened to it, chopped it up. The hell there. Everybody was fucking with it. They were like, right. oh, okay. Shit, we, we like it. Like, we want to do something. Okay. So we figured at that point, we just got to pick where we want to go. Right. So we going to see who come with the best deal. Well, we get back, and we start calling Touch and Bass. Mm -hmm. And we find out CB bitch ass, when they call him, done told everybody, no, nah, they're under contract. We're not going to let them go. <sighs> so he done blocked us on all of it. And that's at the point when we had to have to sit down. Right. And be like, right. we, do we done. Okay. And he's like, no, nah, but I got a contract. No, 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 we done. Right. 
you gonna sign this, <laughs> right, right, saying we done, and right. you gonna give us our shit, and then everybody gonna walk out of here, go their separate ways. Mm-hmm. So we got our shit, but at that point, like the industry, on my part, right, I will burn out. Like I like music, but I don't like the business. The business is shady. The right. business is full of fake motherfuckers. I'm gonna do this for you. I'm gonna do that for you. Right. I'm your friend. Right, 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 like, right. Bitch. <laughs> right, that shit. But that sound like that sound like drugs. It's you know the same thing, man. Like pop, the music game <laughs> more ruthless though. Yeah. I don't know, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I don't know. Man. I ain't really just had no issue with nobody, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? I was cool. You know what I'm saying? I just want to do music yeah. shit. You right. Know what I'm saying? Well, after that, we got we come together. I mean, yeah, all that, you know what I'm saying? All right. And then shout and, out to Big yeah. Bro Sid. Yeah, you Big Sid. Then Sid got locked up, and, and that went that way. So okay. we moved on from there, and we opened our own studio. Okay. Uh, and we did that shit for like two years. Okay. And it was going good, and, and everything was tight, but then everybody just kind of. With the way, yeah, separated, did right. the damn thing. I was going through a divorce, right? He was going through shit, you know. So everybody was doing their thing, so everybody right. just kind of yeah. split off and, and got their shit together. Right, I'm fresh married. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, fresh married. Yeah. So oh yeah, you going through a big change. So it's yeah. different. You like know say, what I'm saying, well, I'm committed. Yeah, bro. it's almost like a mama. Yeah. Like what you gonna do? Just sit out there and rap, or you gonna you gonna pay bills? You gonna man up? Ooh. You da 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 da. I ain't gonna lie, bro. <laughs> man, I love my wife so much, my nigga. I was just like. Like you trying to make me choose, right? It's like a, yeah. almost like an ultimatum, right? And so I, th- I threw the raps away, right? You know what I'm saying? It's hard because it's hard. You know what I'm saying? Right? Because you life, you right? That's just paper and shit, you know right? What I'm so, but it's still too. It's like when you get into that marriage, it's like you got to throw away a half of you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you got to really change into something else. That's, that's like it's you, but it's not you because you don't you have to give a, half of your soul away. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, and that's and I and I think a lot of women don't understand that sometimes. You know what I'm saying, huh? Huh? Did you gain half of the Yeah. Yeah. If you do it right, you can. <laughs> yeah. If yeah, yeah, if it's right, but it's still if it's something that's not that doesn't connect or it doesn't resonate or you're not on that same page, then it's not that soul is not. It's like it's your soul is lost. Yeah. And for me, you know what what I'm saying? Mean, the same mind, like my wife, the polar opposite of me. Right. Like, she a white girl from fucking Rockwall. <laughs> Who ain't never had a fight and don't get in no trouble. Like, right, so she right. she balanced me the fuck out. She right. keep me from getting in trouble. Right. That's the first time in my life I got a passport because I'm legal. I ain't wanted. I ain't got no warrants. I ain't right. on probation. I ain't doing mm-hmm. none of that shit. I'm, right. So, you know, and then she also got me back into music because right. I was talking about music. And she mm-hmm. was like, you used to do music? And I'm like, yeah. Right. So I started letting her hear it and telling her. And then I started, you know, yeah. writing mm-hmm. raps here and there. And she like... You good, <laughs> right? So she yeah. so she started feeling you, and that's yeah. what I was about to say to him too. Yeah. And that's when you start when you're in that relationship, you start to grow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's when you see really like, okay, yeah, and that woman to know like, okay, you missing some, okay, okay, we here, yeah. let's get here, yeah. and then okay, now we can we you yeah. can do yeah. Oh shit, that Christmas she bought me a laptop, a little mm-hmm. little a car keyboard, right? And got me a uh live, right. And I was like, oh, shit, now I got to learn this new shit. Right. I just got in there and started working. And since then, it's been, I'm like, I need one of these. She's like, well, order it. <laughs> well, what, so what about you? So, like, what, what what made you say, okay, it's time to come back? Or it's like, it's time to just, like, you know. We've been trying to pull his ass out of retirement. You know what I'm saying? I'll fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, but see, it's like, you know. It's like, like you say. It'll like, be different, you know. Right, I mean? it'll be different. Yeah. But life is what you make it. I mean, cotton yeah. mouth, man, cotton mouth, man, cotton mouth still going and still killing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I got a new group called LX2. It's right. Me and, Here you go, matter of fact, from Soul Sin, you remember <laughs> Tech? Close. My mouth dry. <laughs> you remember Tech from Soul Sin? Yes, okay. I remember Tech. Yeah. Me and him got a group called LX2. Uh huh. And we working on shit. I'm like, I call Champ. I'm like, bring your ass over here, man. Right. I need you to get on something. All right. Put his ass on the mic and, and like, you get up there and knock the dust off. He like, man, I ain't used to it. It's been a minute. I'm like, take your time. Like, we ain't on the clock. This, this, it's yeah. us. It's family. It's us. It's, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do your thing. Yeah, take you your time. Get it together. Ain't nobody rushing you. You know what I'm saying? Got on there and killed us. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? And like I say, I just be needing that right beat, man. Man, shit. Well, hell, yeah. shit. We'll get with the right producers. 
Go shop. Bro, I done told this motherfucker. Get, get in the niggas ears. Go through you know my fucking saying? SoundCloud Cause, and cause tell nigga, me what you want. Because niggas, I got some shit. I got some shit. And I know some other niggas who got some shit. Quint Black got some shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, me and Tim you know recorded some shit over there at Quint. So oh, no, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah you're at the new studio? Mm -hmm. right. Not the old one. Oh, the old one, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shit, man. All you gotta do is reach out, shit. You know what I'm saying? We here yeah. now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, man. shit. My boy was hitting me up, and man, he was like, because I already been talking about Souls of Sin. Bunky, you know what I'm saying? Also, you know, he done came on the podcast talking about yeah. Souls of Sin. Big shout you know, out to Bunky. You know shout what I'm saying? Shout out to Bunky. Yeah, you, P, man. Yeah, 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 so, you know, and then, you Hit know. Hit it, ball dang. Yeah, man. Love him. You know, so it's like, the name is still keeping alive. Like, shoot, like I say, nigga, I can yeah, pull yeah, up yeah. one of my things, pull up an album cover, y'all, and I be having that. We can go back on my my Instagram years and years ago pulling out yeah. number Dallas albums. So that it's pen like, and pixel. You know what I'm saying? Pen and pixel, man. Say, hey, yeah, pen and pixel and nonstop graphics. But well, see, that's be that. <laughs> I just showed my wife uh, a post of that. Uh huh. With us on there with uh Ski G and a whole bunch of people. Uh, oh, the oh, albums man. it was supposed to come out. Too short. And it was a whole bunch of folks on there. God, it was a lot of folks on there. Oh, uh, that, yeah, the pen and pixel sample <laughs> was uh. <laughs> God damn. One of them niggas from UNLV yeah, yeah. had a solo album. His shit was on there. There was a whole bunch of people shit on there. I just showed her that shit. And that'd be Man. the one issue we do get, like, it seems like that's, a lot of people forget, though, man. forget about it. They don't put no respect on us. Like, and then, right. like, we were doing it before a lot of the people that was doing it. Right, right. There were very few were like Cottonmouth was out doing his thing with PKO. Yeah. Oak Cliff Assassin was doing his thing. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't a whole Ron C, Nemesis. DOC, but other than that, it wasn't too many people, what, really. What, what, what Gallo, what, uh, Jalo was out and all that. Yeah, yeah. Picasso and them. You could yeah, Red Rum. Because Red Rum and all them was out. Well, yeah. see, that's the thing. Red Tech Rum. was with Red Rum. What, yeah. Tech was with Red yeah, Rum? Tech was with Red Rum and Go Hard Black. He was what? Over there. Yeah, 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 Go Hard yeah. Black. Yeah, Go Hard. Black. Motherfucking Go yeah, Hard yeah. Black. And then, God, where is Go Hard Black? <laughs> he's still doing it. He got a studio. What? Okay. Yeah. But so. And he what, E40 what, cousin. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, hard as E40 comes. No, nigga. No, nigga. No, nigga. He on the song with E40. Like, you jingled me, home. Oh. <laughs> hey, when I felt, I was like, damn, I'm a 40 fan. <laughs> damn, that's crazy. Man, that's, boy, so that's crazy. So Tech was with Red Run. What? Yeah. what? And we went over So there. he was over there with K9? And, yep. uh, no, no, K9 was... No, no, that's West. Not K. Then I was with Oak Cliff Assassin. Yeah, he was Oak Cliff yeah. Assassin. Yeah, I'm it tripping. Was Picasso, but, but Picasso it was, uh, and them. Goo Goo. Uh huh. Damn, who oh, else yeah. was over there at the time? Uh, Cabal. Cabal. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? The representing yeah. us. Shout name out of your Cabal. hood yeah. is a dial word. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And got Goo Goo doing movies. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, he doing movies. Yeah, yes. he got the movies. Yeah, out he got there. a whole bunch of them out. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Been, working with him on movies. So. Okay. Yeah. But he's talking about Tubi. Huh? Yeah. He be on Tubi. Yeah, he got something on Tubi and on other stuff. And then, too. yeah, you got to go. Yeah, and he be putting on other stuff, too. You know what I'm saying? Like he got you, his own streaming service. Yeah, now. he on YouTube and oh, everything. Yeah. yeah, he on that's YouTube. He be up, dropping. Every, that's what I'm saying. Ain't nobody really stop. Everybody's still in the mix. Yeah. It's you know what I'm saying? Rank. It's just all about how you get in the mix. And that's yeah. what this and this what Lit Podcast is for. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's to honor those who done came before. You know what I'm saying? Who done put a stamp. You know what I'm saying? Who done paint the walls. You know what I'm saying? In, in the city. You know what I'm saying? Under these city lights, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's always a spot, you know what I'm saying? Because, like I say, when, before we got on here, you never know who you done touch. Yeah. You don't never know yeah, who done man. had that CD. You don't never know what was going on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? You don't know what somebody did in their life, you know what I'm saying? Bumping yeah. souls struggling, of sin. <laughs> that was the shit that, that hit me. That was the best thing man. that came out that CD for me. Right. Well, one day, we were talking, we was somewhere, and this dude was out there, and he was talking to me about it, and he right. was like, Shit, that song you had when I'm gone, he said, that shit got me through a hard point in my life. Right, right. And I was like, damn. Like, yeah. something I, I wrote? Yeah, hit, see. Like, see? that shit was wild to me. Like, you know what I'm saying? I used to trip out on that shit. I had the same experience. Yeah, and music yeah. touched people. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's the thing. When we were doing it, now, they was pushing the gangster shit. And now that I'm older, I get it. Right. But yeah. we were living the gangster shit. So that's yeah. what, what else we gonna talk about? Right. So, right. like but they was doing it for the gender. Now they pushing this ratchet shit. Right. They attacking the women. Yeah. With the same thing, but on a different angle. Yeah, on different angle. You gotta angle. be a hoe. You gotta be a hood ratchet. You gotta right. be ratchet. Not know right. how to act. Like mm -hmm. you can't be a lady. Right. And it's the same shit. Just right. a different day, different angle. The same with the niggas. Niggas gotta be pistol totals. Gun change. Talk stupid. All, can't spell. All wearing can't dresses. Read, oh, you know what I'm saying? 
Like Terry in person. When nigga wearing t- wearing jeans tighter than the kneecap, right, boy. I, I can't say do that. <laughs> Call it gym. You know what I'm saying? Like, like gym, you know, man. but it's like you know. It's just how times change, man. It, it, they it, just got it's, different ways of doing it. Man. Yeah, they got different ways of doing it. But sometimes, like too, when it's gonna be a a, a change, when it's gonna be an end, when it's gonna be 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 like something to where like we can really enjoy. The fruits of all of our labels. Everybody, yeah, everybody done put in. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody done put in. Like right now, like just think about it. Right now, the world is like you damned if you do right now if you vote for Kamala, and yeah. you damned if you do if you vote for fucking Trump. Ain't you know no what I'm saying? Choice. You know what I'm saying? It's like you, you said. Now, what was your original question? Um, what about what, what, what you, what you, what you talking about right now? What did you just ask first? Though? Well, I was saying like. What do we do? You know what I'm saying? How do we change? We need to change. That's what I was talking about, how they need to change. Yeah, vote for when, Cornell when West, first of all. Huh? When folks get tired. When folks get tired. But it's like, damn, everybody always, and that's and I'm glad you said that because everybody always say they tired. If you go on no, any platform. I'm, I'm like, when they really tired. When they really tired. When they, when they really just stand for something. Because I think it entertains them. You know what I'm saying? I think it's still, I think mean, this natural, I remember when, well, when, it, when, when Cable started really doing it real world. Life is real, man. It's not right. entertainment. Mm-hmm. And then they made it entertainment. Yeah, but see, that's man. the thing, though. If everybody, if half of America just for three days are like, fuck it, we ain't going to work, we ain't paying no bills, we ain't doing none of that. This motherfucker was shut down. Sure will. You see how it was yeah. with... And, um, and, and shit have changed I can't, instantly. I can't say it, but the 19, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah. like, yo... They, you know, and see how they sense it. They it, like even on these type of podcast, you know, on this stuff, they they sense you. Oh, they, yeah. they they got too much grasp. But what I'm saying is this though, like even with that, when they, we was in that 19, everybody was sitting home. They were like, nah, uh-uh. now y'all got to get back to work. Now nah, yeah, I don't yeah. even care if it's still out there. You know, yeah. now you know what, you know what, come on, yeah, you don't need the shot. Come on, <laughs> Dude, yeah. so you right, you know. <laughs> They ain't gonna want that. But we got the power because we right. got the numbers. No, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the numbers. We just gotta well, demand it. But we gotta get the. I think we need to get the mind frames now. We need to get the minds. The see, minds. That's that's what we're good. Like in the right. '90s, uh-huh. you had NWA, you right, had Ghetto right. Boy, but you had Tribe Called Quest, you had Paris, right? You had you had flavor, yeah. yeah, you had Bastion and then you Robin. had party people like you had Digital Underground, right? You had Hammer, you right. had it was a variety in that yeah. shit. Everybody wasn't doing one thing, right? But right. there's people now like La Russell, that, right. that little motherfucker be killing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He dope. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And then you know. That's what we need, a variety. We got a variety. People say, you're not looking, you're not looking, you're not looking, you're not da 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 But it's like two people, yeah, they make it to where it's hard to find sometimes. You oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? They make it to where you talk so much, your phone just pull up the same stuff you always been, you know. It caters to it'll you. Keep, yeah, it'll cater straight to you. You know what I'm saying? But so, see, yeah, that- you know what? They just need to make a station just straight. Because, you know, like every city got a station. Right. They cater to them. Right. You know, like strictly for them. Yeah, like shit. Houston got. Yeah, why, they, we, why we can't have that? I don't know why Dallas ain't never ever get. You know what I'm saying? On that chapter, so, you know so what I'm saying? So the showcase, man. Right. Well, we had KNON in saying? for a minute, you know. Right. But, well, we know them. Yeah, but, but I'm, right. I'm, I'm talking about like stream, yeah, like a big deal. Right. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, you know see, I mean? that's the thing too. Like we need a. Now I think rap is at a point in its lifespan where we need to do what rock did. There was rock, hard rock, contemporary right. rock. We need some some subcategories in rap, right? Because right now yeah. you got people like Cube. If he drop, he competing with with all the the, the seventeen year old, eighteen year olds on right. the wild shit. And that's right. not a that's not the same category, right? Like, it's, right. They two different beasts. That's two different, right? That's two different lanes. You yeah, know what it's like you, you can't even you putting them together right. on the charts. Like, well, he didn't do better than him, right? Okay, what is track runner beat the swimmer. I don't, what the fuck is you talking about? Like, it's, we doing different things. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We on, we on a whole nother level. You know what I'm saying? Time to change. Man. You're right, right. You know what I'm saying? But see, like, it ain't elevating and it's not, it's like rock, if you old and you put in the work and you legendary, you, you still doing it. Right. And they love it. And rap started to get to that right. now with these tours. Right. But they trying to say that rap did. And like, especially right now with, uh, what's that, uh, Live Nation and all them getting the yeah. lawsuit about, you know, trying to, Get the monopoly because they got all the tick. They own the ticket master yeah. and all this. What's well, the part yeah, of yeah. the problem right now is the lack of variety. It's all the same shit. Right, right. There's there's yeah. some out there, but and the new people they got it easier, but they got it harder. They right. ain't got to press up CDs. Right. They ain't got to. They can buy a studio for two G's and put they it together in the house and sound shit. amazing. Right. 
Right. And you can just upload your music and get it distributed. Yeah, you just do your video, you know what I'm saying? But then you also got 10,000 songs coming out every yeah. day. Right. You need to slow it down. So people then you got to stand out. How you do that? You yeah. The people, CDs, people, people, they need to... The right, you, right, what you saying? When you were selling CDs and stuff, you know, I got a mix of both of that. But when you were selling CDs, you knew the spots who... who yeah. The spots who you kind of know your competition when it transition online now. It's endless competition. Yeah, it's everywhere. Right. All over the world. Everywhere. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. yeah, for real. And then what's, and what's so crazy, too, is like... To you, people putting it out too fast. People don't let it's not even people not even simmering on the music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're not even mixing it. Right. You know what I'm saying? They're Drop not even throw it out. They're not even trying to take the time with the music yeah. and really put it out there. And that's what separates Kendrick Lamar, uh, Drake, J. Cole, and all. That's why they the 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 top tier. Yeah, of yeah that. man, because they don't follow the top that. Right. You know what I'm saying? They like they do their shit, but it ain't. Right, you know right. Quality control. Yeah, they call it, right. Quality. Yeah, there you go. I mean, you know what, you know what I'm saying? saying? You got to have it. And like everybody's on the fast pace. Even Dallas, one time we used to be quality control. Yeah. And now everybody out here got that. I mean, you got that bullshit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I need that yum yum, nigga. I need the yum 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 yum. These you know ciphers help. These, these ciphers help. But these, yeah, these ciphers help, man. Shout out Pookie Leroy, man. Shout out uh, Money Man Rado. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sure, Especially sure. at the BET Wars. Rado, I mean, Rado, Rado out there killing it. Man, he out there killing it. You know what I'm saying? And, and he right there next door to y'all. To, to Kiki. Man, shout out Kiki. She finna get she finna get signed. She, I mean, she got a deal. She got a big deal on the on the table. You know what I'm saying? I sound like a twelve pack. I'm yeah, like, yeah. Let, me, let me know. Like, <laughs> yeah, man. Shout out to Kiki, yeah, man. She a you know what I'm saying? And then you also got another. You know, we're gonna talk about the legends who done came out of the Grove, like all the rappers who done came out the Grove. Cause right now, y'all gotta y'all right now the Grove, which y'all y'all gotta celebrate. Y'all I mean, y'all are, are on the map. You know, y'all y'all man, y'all got big X to plug, fam. Yeah, man. And he cold. Yeah, y'all got big extra plug, fam. I like that youngster, man. You know what I'm saying? At one point in time, y'all had motherfucking damn D. They just love me. You know what I'm saying? NFL boys in this bitch. That nigga, they're cool in the bitch. Yeah, DSO. Yeah, DS motherfucking Shout out to damn D. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all motherfuckers got, I mean, y'all got run. Let's talk about it, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, who done all done came up out this Grove side, man? Because y'all got a legacy, man. And I think y'all need to, Somehow learn how to put it together, man, and make it, you know, stand out, man. I think they need to see you more, y'all. Man. The Grove be so beefed out half the time, though. It'd it be crazy. Like, <laughs> right. this person Shit. don't fuck with that person, that person don't fuck with that right. person because it is, and then, mm. like, but that, that Grove cycle, it gave my me nigga, hope. Uh, what, Chase Pat? Chase Pat. Chase Pat, yeah. Man, he was uh, in the Triple D Revenge. Street. Yep, yeah. Street. Street AJ. C killing it. Yeah, Street C. Yeah. Young P. Yeah. Wait, ain't Street C related or somebody brother? Yeah, Tip. That's Tip brother? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Tip still out there cutting. Okay, Killing okay. Killing it. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Shit. Like, I, I remember you. Street when he was. Yeah, who was y'all DJs coming up in the Grove? Because you remember DJ, uh, 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 what's it called, 52 Savage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he wild. Was, he, what you mean, he wild? He wild. <laughs> Man, you he know be, what? You be having me tripping. Who, who the DJs coming out the Grove? Shit, it wasn't a lot, though. Uh, it wasn't a lot of DJs? Wow. It wasn't a lot of DJs. Like, DJs were hard to find. What? Yeah, everybody wanted to rap. Yeah, man. There weren't no clubs in the Grove. There was, but they didn't have no DJ where you walked in and went like, that motherfucker cold. Right. Like, I can't remember one of them where I was like, yeah, he, he, he oh, killing it. They were just mainly doing blends and mixes. Most right. of them. I wasn't like really, I like, the only one I know cutting up. I was in Bro, me. What's the after hours? Down on the loop. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so you the after hours. I, I didn't read really the club that much, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I just wasn't that club and tight, man. You know what right. I'm saying? Shit. Oh, yeah, shit. I love that shit. It, you, know, it, it just, you know, it just, you know, motherfuckers be doing too much. Man, hey, you know, it, 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 it'll it jump off, man. Yeah, sure. man. Yeah. Well, you know, shit, Dallas will jump off. You think everything good. One one minute, you just like, da 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 da, -da. Yeah. What's going on over there? Shit, next thing you know, the whole wave, niggas, a whole wave moving in the club. Shit, oh, DJs say. was so hard to find. That's the only thing we didn't have nah. in SO was a DJ. Well, oh, damn, damn. But now, nah, shit, I'll just be bullshit. I'll be like, man, I'll I be kicking it, though. Man. Right, right, right. <laughs> nigga, nigga be living life, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. shit. I hear trying to make My the next kids, generation bro, better. You know what I'm saying? I got grandkids and shit. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. I, I love life, man. Man, that's what's and, up. And I love that music too. You know yeah, what I'm saying? It's yeah. like, 
if I read it, just, you know what I'm saying, you know, indulge or fuck with it again, you know what I'm saying, I just really want to find myself. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. I don't want to just, you know what I'm saying, put myself out there, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. You know what I'm saying, want to be able to focus, man, right. but it's just, you know, a lot of things I need to put in order first. Right. You know? But see, we in a position to sign artists too, or, yep. you know or, or, or even develop an artist. You know what I'm saying? I be trying to get mm-hmm. zero ass back on the mic. Right. You know what I'm saying? We always, we all, it's always something yeah. we can do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, it's always sure. something we can do. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if it's just make them connections, man. like introduce this person to that person. Right. Yeah, yeah. man. Get it moving. Get it working. There you go, right there. I'll be talking about life. I've been living the bad to worse. I'm letting them know I'm trying to make some ends. Got tragedy in my family, and I can't sleep because DPD, they keep harassing me. On top of that, you got these rappers, fool. Hating on each other. Shout out, big real. Money, but they don't want to invest in the brother. Once a hater, I was a hater. With a PhD degree. Just wanna go platinum and feed a family of three. Yeah. Yeah, Grip was saying, he was like, shit, Todd, tell him we need to come back when we all come. I'm like, shit, let's do it. Yeah, man. <laughs> man, so, man, like, you said y'all recorded that album in what? Like two weeks. Totally. Two weeks. He just rented out the studio, yeah, JP's. Man. So y'all rented out JP studio and recorded this all. Two man. weeks, every day. Yeah. In two weeks. You know what I'm saying? Man, this motherfucker, this whole album, 20 minutes already on the blunt, man. <laughs> This is crazy. My wife. Nah, this ain't crazy. You shit. know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Nah, <laughs> man, y'all getting y'all flowers. Y'all deserve y'all flowers. Y'all y'all flowers. flowers. You know what I'm saying? You getting the flowers, yeah, goddamn yeah, me. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't talking about, you yeah, know what I'm saying? No, you know, in the ground flowers. You know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about still living, still ro- rolling. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, man, you know, like for real, man. I like I say. This is what this for, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I say, appreciate y'all once again. You know what I'm saying? Shit, appreciate of, you. Nah, nah, for real. Man. I just, I just hope, you know what I'm saying, the Dallas music scene can rebuild itself. You right. And because we need, we need, we need a, we need what you call with the, uh, the tower. We need the tower. We need that. You know what I'm saying? Where it's, the music is here. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like it man. is in, in H Town. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I think. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all older, y'all know. I think at one point in time, don't get me wrong, it's like Dallas kind of lost its culture, especially when they, you know, closed down Deep Element at one point in time. You know what I'm saying? They revamped it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, they tore down the Sportatorium. They changed the uh, Reunion Arena. You know what I'm saying? You know, it took away the circuits, all that stuff. They that, shut down live music in Dallas, damn yeah, period. Yeah. Like, they killed it. They, they killed that. You know what I'm saying? It was like like most of the clubs just started shutting down, you know what I'm saying? DMXs and all of And all like, the mayor's. Yeah, all that. All yeah. the mayor husband want to get his dick so. Yeah. <laughs> like, why you break? I mean, you taking it out on us. He, he but, getting the chewing shit. But I think I was I asking, I think he was talking about earlier too. I don't mean to jump back, but it's that, you know what I'm saying? We lit, bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we lit, bitch. But I think I was talking about Kamala, I mean, Kamala Harris and uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Trump. That's what I was talking about. That's the question you was talking yeah. about? Yeah. Okay, like, so like, who is y'all voting for? Like, because right now, it's like, we damned if we do, mm. and we damned if we don't. Cornell West. Cornell West? A real somebody with but do you think do you think voting really works do you think nah. it's even because it's already electoral decision well in Texas electoral college don't have to go with the popular vote right yeah. so we can all vote for one person the electoral college go now nah. but you know one thing we also too forget in Texas we are a republic it's six flags over Texas yeah. Like, we really don't have to be a part of the United States. We got our own Republican, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, like, we, like, we got our own money. Like, we got coins, you know what I'm saying? We got, the, we still, Texas still got the border system. Yeah. It's about time we step away, too, because they act <laughs> foolish. <laughs> no, no, they, no they, they is. Especially, like, that, that uh, town, you know, going out there right there. By, how in the fuck? Y'all yeah. niggas right there in the Grove, right? Yes, sir. Don't you know right there? Coming off of 20, and I'm wrapping around, and it's like box springs. Like, I'm gonna go yeah. box springs, or I can hit Louisiana. Yeah, go you know, 20. To, yeah, if I go 20. Yeah. You know, if I turn right to, it's a town called Sand Branch. Yeah. You know, they ain't had water over 100 some years. God damn. It's a Sand Branch. It's saying, bro, it's right. I'm talking about, I'm talking about, I'm talking about as soon as you coming off 20. Yeah, they like a trailer park or some shit? No. It's number, it's, 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 uh, Because some of those, you know, some of those towns still exist because when Dallas annexed everything, it's like, oh, Clips does not exist, Kevin existed. 
technically since what Yeah, Oak Cliff don't exist. Um, that's not a real that's, oh, damn. It's not a zip code. This yeah. is Oak Cliff, Texas. And also even same with when, Pleasant Grove, it was separate it, from Dallas. Right. So, right. We have those and then also any I'm gonna let you go, but anything south of Illinois ain't even Oak Cliff, but we're not gonna get on that. Go ahead. <laughs> what you said. <laughs> They just out there so in the we wind. Don't owe you so they out there in the wind. So they out there in Dallas, but they're not Dallas in their on their own. Right. That's wild. No support. And it's cause it's Dallas. It's right there. I'm talking. As soon as you come off a of 20 and hit that curve, and then like if you still, like you finna go 20, like you're going towards uh Louisiana, that yeah. first exit right there, you exit and you just make a right, it's a store right there. You just keep you just make a right and just keep going down. It's a whole town right there. You know they what I'm saying? Water? They ain't had no water over hundred years, and you wanna know what's the kicker? All of that Dallas waste and feces are wastewater from all of our toilet. That's what goes right in front of they, uh, they neighborhood. Damn, I know that shit stinks. Mm. So they getting the shit in for real, all the way around. Man, so they say the water, they can't drink the water over there. They, can, they, they say it's poison. Then they say they can't build, do nothing to their house, paint nothing. They go to the city, going to take it. Damn. Man, they've been fighting for this, you know what I'm saying? Mer uh, what was that name? Uh, Johnson, what's her name? Um, yeah, Bernice Johnson. That's her name. Yeah, she was supposed to be doing something. And, you know, John Wally Price, they was all supposed to be doing something, but they never pretty much, I guess, didn't get around to it, allegedly. You know what I'm saying? You know, things came up. They got busy. You know? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They got busy. You know what I'm when saying? When the TV cameras yeah. wasn't showing for it, they was like, all right, never mind. But, yeah, that's right there outside, right there by y'all. Talking about right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I didn't know Pleasant Grove had, a, like, the Grove Rat thing is like an official mascot. They right. got that shit registered, yeah. and trademarked. Like they the only city that got a trademark. <laughs> I had joined that group on Facebook, and I was just like, damn, they got a mascot and everything for real. Oh, that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, what y'all, okay, so y'all was on the other side of the track. What y'all think about Skyline? <laughs> I went there for six weeks. Skyline you went there for six weeks? I slid through there before I went to Brian Adams. <laughs> okay. Coming from Spruce. Oh, okay. I made it six you know weeks. They asked me to leave. <laughs> it was uh, it was weird. It was weird mix because it was it was it was wild. But then yeah, it, it was, was the good up. kids too. So yeah, it was, yeah. I know when I went, it was Fashion City. You oh had yeah, to, you had to dress. I know when I had went there for a little bit. Oh hell yeah, yeah. You you had to dress. Yeah, that, everybody had to be fly. And then they yeah, they, yeah, 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 yeah. I was yeah. in that bitch fighting. I wasn't. <laughs> even, I, was like, <laughs> I didn't last. Shit. I didn't last long. So I, you know what I'm saying. But when I went, you had to be fly. You know what I'm saying. I made it six weeks, and then they sent my ass to Spruce. Oh, you went to Spruce? Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. Man, shout out, man. Shout out to them Grove boys. You know what I'm saying? Two times, man. So who are, who y'all always wanted to work with? I never got a chance to work with in Dallas. DLC number one. Ooh, DLC. All right. Uh. Man, I say Pookie and Lucci. Pookie yeah, and Lucci. Yeah. Man, shout out Pookie and Lucci. You know what I'm saying? Uptight. Yeah. Uptight. Man, say, Uptight. I'm, you, I'm coming for you, boy. You you coming up here next. Uptight, yeah, uptight say. Uptight dope. Yeah, man. Uh, I, 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 I came up on the Uptight wing. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Uptight yeah, was hard. Yeah, 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 uptight, yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he was hard. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, Uptight was that. Boy, say, man, that boy. Yeah, lyrical beast, you know yep, what I'm saying? Yep. He was right doing some stuff for Death Row and all that stuff yep, like that. He's been around. Yeah, he's been around. Yeah. 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 He done uh, moved around and yeah. did it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot of things a lot of people don't know about Dallas. There's a lot of us that can keep people around here. You see us, we would be at UPS. Like yeah, nigga writing man. for Death Row, producing for Death Row, yeah, or doing I'm this over here it. for uh, Atlanta, the Lil John. Well, you know like what I'm saying? DLC. Wouldn't have been no NWA where they was, wouldn't mm. have been no Snoop mm. where they was like DLC yeah, made all that possible. Yep, yep. DLC, Mister Three Two and yep, them from yep. Houston. You now know that's what I'm saying? What I'd and do Big Mike and Big Mike. Yeah, yep, called yep. all of them. To yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? That's what I'd rather do. I'd rather just write. Right, you right. You know what I'm saying? Right. That that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's money and writing. Yeah, because yeah, mm -hmm. I be wanting to, man. But I, right. I, I don't. You know, I, I be wanting to commit. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But you know what I'm saying? Man, it's certain people who take the writing, man. Yeah, it's like, man, shit. There's a lot of. Yeah, yeah, shit. And like, you know I don't. Saying? Drake always need more riders. <laughs> <laughs> like, for real. So, what are they doing wrong? <laughs> like, like, one of my sons. Like, one of my sons. He got something, though. 
You know what I'm saying? He just, he just need some writing skills. You know what I mean? Not one of that college nigga seeing. <laughs> you know bullshit. I already know it, man. <laughs> I don't pay these niggas no attention, bro. <laughs> what about nigga? I damn just squatted this whole blood, nigga. I just, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just like you can't be a legend if you mm. don't write your own vote. Mm. I mean, I don't know because sometimes what's what's wrong with collabing? You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes, yeah. like I mean, like you in there, you and your peoples, you know, y'all doing y'all thing. You sometimes you like, hey man, I'm gonna give you a hook here. You can have this hook. Oh, you da 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 da. But it's like, collab different than somebody yeah, sending you a whole that's... reference track. A whole song. I mean, but that's, I mean, I'm just saying. That's what, that shit. But like, it's like me, it's certain songs I can't say. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know my voice ain't right, so if I can lay it and then say have somebody else and give it to them and, and give them the weights and I can still make money off of it. Shit, I gladly sell them, but I yeah. ain't gonna buy one. <laughs> if I want a song, I'm gonna like, write that shit I mean, myself. Yeah, like, <laughs> you should be an entertainer. Yeah. Like, you gotta understand, <laughs> singers, their talent is their voice. Yeah. So it don't matter if. Yeah, well, singing it's is different. Voice. We want to hear voice. We want to hear voice. But with rappers, you gotta yeah, write your. Rappers, that, yeah. that is our talent. It's, it's our words. It's our words. Man. Okay. And you, and you supposed to put it's your life in the song. Well, too. then I guess it's it's solidified. We're here on Lit Podcast. You can't be a goat <laughs> if you got a ghostwriter. You, you know what I'm saying? Enough said. said. You know what I'm saying? Enough motherfuckers said. I tell, I tell you what, on what? God, nigga, oh. there was nobody wrote shit for me. Oh, okay. Ever in life, man. Uh, shit. God, that's, what that's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about here. Yeah, hell, you know shit. I know I had a motherfucker right for me. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I had a motherfucker named Pamela. You know what I'm saying? I had to hit the pin like that. Pop, 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 pop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? My bitch ain't never failed me. You know what I'm saying? I, like, I be pimping this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Bitch be pimping the pin. You know? yeah, me. And I wasn't finna go in there and freestyle shit. Like, I'm gonna write my verse. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I, did, I did some freestyles too. You know what I'm saying? But I, man, sometimes that freestyle too, man, you, you you get in that zone too. Man, you say, you can, you can make a fire ass track. You know what I'm talking about? I'm a I nigga, mean, switch hell house, shit. you do it all the time. In man, school, like. say, hey, man, say, the whole, man, switch house. SUC, all of them say they were all doing their thing, you know what I'm saying, man. Big Hawk, man, yeah. say, man, say. I'll, speaking of people, you know, screw pass. You yeah, know. screw pass, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 and like that, that culture, the, it changed, you know what I'm it saying? Changed. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's just like how Dallas, you know what I'm saying, with Big Al, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, from Nemesis yeah. and all yeah. that stuff like that passed Legends. away, you know, all that, you know, it's like, it, things change, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, when like, DOC, when DOC kind of, lost his spirit, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like when we didn't see DOC, he had that car wreck, and he, you know, his voice, yeah. the spirit, you know what I'm saying? It's like every time we know, it's like every time Dallas get right here, it's like we get to that rim, it's like that, it's like that album cover right here in the game. Yeah. We like, nigga, all the visitors come here to Dallas and they winning, but here on the home team in Dallas, nigga, we always losing. You know what I'm saying? When we always, you know what I'm saying? They stay moving. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. I had to reference that. You know what I'm saying? I seen it come up in the pri in my peripheral. I seen it. I was like, well, yeah, this coincide because it's the truth. Because in Dallas, you know, we always right there, and like, and I commend all the ones who making the way right now, especially big active player. I'm I'm happy. Yeah. Mo three bringing all them plaques in, bringing a lot of yeah, plaques in, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, all that, you know what I'm saying? That little Ronnie motherfucker, yeah, all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, like. And this shit that did, did Mo3 got recorded today now? Man, say, fire. Hey, yeah, yeah. I know, fire. I know <laughs> it is. He always dropping that fire. It, but it's like, it's time to hone it now. It's time, like, yeah. it's, it's time to put that torch up, you well, know see, what I'm saying? See, that's what's different with Houston. Uh-huh. Houston, everybody in Houston support Houston music. Right. Like, all of them. Like, uh -huh. You go to Houston and you go into a bar in the middle of an uppity white neighborhood and they got a drink that's called fucking lean. Right. They come in a, in a, in a fucking promethazine bottle. <laughs> I got a nigga yeah. to tap. I got my nigga to tap. You know what we lit, bitch. First tapper on lit podcast. Hold on, hold on. Man, what the fuck? Hold on, say. Hey, hey, hey. What my nigga say? Hey, hey. He hired the my rap pussy. My nigga hired. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he don't want to smoke me no more. But you know what I say? I say... <laughs> Yeah, nigga, and it's more for me. You know that. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. 
<laughs> but that was me. Oh, I gotta go to work, oh, man. yeah. No, you good. You gotta, I gotta go to work. No, 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 no. I think I'm off. No, you good. You good. That's, but I always keep my Devin dude in there for everybody who don't shit. smoke. That was good. <laughs> I don't smoke, man. But shit, that's some good shit, my man. That's, that's what see, I'm talking that's about. That's the good thing about Texas. That's, that's, shit. that's what you heard. I, I ain't tapping like that. I'm just nah. being smart tonight. Nah, you smart. That whole hidden, bro. Nah, you good. If you can sell in Texas, this what the podcast photo. In Texas, support you. You ain't gotta go nowhere. Yeah, you ain't gotta go nowhere. Texas support you, you know what I'm saying? Right now, man, the boy, Mexican OT, all them. Killing. You know what I'm saying? Rich Greedy, all them boys, you know what I'm saying? Sauce Walker, TSC, the whole, man. they they still running. Man, even. Propane a monster. Man, even, um, man, uh, Tum Tum still running yeah. through here, yep. getting getting yep. stuff, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Playing skills still behind the scenes. They all yeah. over there on the Latin market oh, over yeah. there, turn it up. Bro, that Latin music killing. Man, killing. I'm producing a dude now, in Miami right now, named yeah. Sam Brandon. Uh huh. He a Cuban dude, and he do rap, he do reggaeton, he do all that shit. Right. He out there killing it, performing at the Latin Music Festival. Yeah. Like, and I produced with two other dudes, uh, one from Brooklyn mm -hmm. and then one from Colorado. Right. And we got a whole little collective we do called right. the Titans. But he did an album with all us producing, and then he did an album with individuals, and now right. he's working on an album with just me and him. Okay. But I'm doing some reggaeton beats on there, mm -hmm. some just hard-ass rap, right. you know, like a little bit of everything, but... And Latin market killing it. Right. Yeah, they're getting much love, Miami. Right. I was like, I might take my ass down there and uh, yeah. enjoy. So, yeah, uh, shit, man, over there in Puerto Rico, all yeah. that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dominican yeah. Republic, so, all that shit. So, yeah. you say you say DOC, you say Pookie and Lucci, who you have, uh, always want to do a song and, with. And, and others. Yeah. And yeah. others. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Who, who the name some others? Man. Just I, give me two. I wish I could have did some shit with our nemesis back in the Oh, day. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. Had, they had that drop, man, that man. bass. Yeah, you know yeah, man. Shout out DJ yeah. Snake, you Snake know what I'm saying? R.I.P. Al, you know what I'm saying? Snake yeah. was a monster on them yeah, beats. Yeah, that whole nemesis, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mama Uptight more. and DLC. Yeah, 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 us, us, Uptight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mama Uptight and DLC. Yeah, 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 yeah, LeBron C2. Damn, I'll say, I'll say that. Damn, and nobody said Vanilla Ice? Nah. <laughs> no, he from Miami. Vanilla Ice ain't from Miami. He, he said he, we gonna let him have He from Dallas? It. Yeah, he from, he from Carrollton. Look, Vanilla Ice made my life so hell. he the first post, Malone. Yeah, he the first post. He made my you know life what I'm hell. He, he made your life hell? Oh. Uh, Every time I go, oh, no, Vanilla Ice, man. Fuck Vanilla <laughs> Ice. <laughs> oh, God damn. I ain't gonna like Wait, every man. time, but ice, ice, baby. <laughs> we did a show <laughs> in one of these little country ass town. We all getting out the van. It's all uh, wrapped and got all the shit and yeah. big system. We get out and we all getting out. And first things, motherfuckers say, "You must be the DJ." <laughs> I'm like, "What? The, why the fuck That's I gotta be up. the DJ?" <laughs> I say, "Nigga, play too much." Huh? <laughs> Like he made it hard to be a white boy around. Man, bro. Said, God damn me. But see, man, like, what, what, like, what is it like being a white boy in rap? Because motherfuckers ain't like, I ain't gonna lie, the white boys today, they don't give a fuck. And I know back then, ICP and all them motherfuckers didn't give a fuck either. So like, what was the, what was the, what was the trials and tribulations? You know what I'm saying? Being a white boy in a, in, 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 a, in, a, in rap game. Shit, motherfuckers expecting you to be Vanilla Ice <laughs> and to do that dumb shit and. <laughs> Bullshit ass yeah. lyrics, uh, be, uh, I mean, we didn't get poppy and it. fake and soft, like right. all kind of shit. Right, yeah. right, right, so right. I'll be the first, and they'd be like, white boys can't fight. I'd be like, shit, let's go outside. Uh huh. Yeah. They'd be like, like, you don't count. Yeah. Shut up, a white boy. What you mean? <laughs> like, I count. Let's see what it do. Run the fade. Right, run, like, run the fade. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he know I get hot, bro. He had to like, call me down in the middle of South hey, Dallas because it'd be like, who the wood? But see, so people don't know, so some of our Dallas white boys are different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we got the ones, we know, you know what I'm saying? Then we got the other white boys, you know, say, okay, yeah, they about that business. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, I, I'm, I'm a pleasant grown white boy. Yeah, right. That's hey, a different white boy. Yeah. I just say, rest in peace, hood nigga Tim. <laughs> say, say, my white boy was a beast. I killed my nigga, though. But Damn. No, watch him. Back in the day, that white boy that cold, I swear to God, my nigga, and then. I got another partner. Shout out to my nigga Saggy. That, mm -hmm. that animal. These, these man, I don't know. Like, move right. motherfucker. Right. Beating up folks and shit. For right. money and shit. Yeah. Like, man. These right. These niggas are animals, bro. Yeah. It's, it is like. Yeah, they're my partner. Bro, it's wild. Man. I was in the middle of all that shit. Like, Cowboys Parade, Riot. 
Oh yeah, acting a fool with oh, everybody yeah. from Screw. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. When that the Rodney shit, King crazy, shit came man. through, yeah, when that was here, that was stupid. It was real fucked up. Right. When the Rodney King verdict happened, right. I'm running around with everybody at Spruce beating up white people. <laughs> So they real confused. Yeah, like, <laughs> niggas stealing everything. Oh, I was saying when the Rodney King shit came out, that nigga said he could not go to school and be no white. Yeah, like I'm, they I'm like, what the man. fuck is happening over here? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Talk about you some bitch pop. <laughs> to walk down the hall and just steal off on people. Like, just steal off. We nigga, this shit was seeing wild in the mud. Say, man, well, y'all need to do a movie, man, where y'all bullshitting. Why y'all bullshitting? Y'all need to go get, man, go to Walmart, get a cheap. Cheap ass camera, put a movie together. Shit, God damn it. Get with Google. Uh, shit, get the Google. Oh, you get with his ass too. Man. Yeah, Google. Come on. I tell you what, man. I got, I got stories for that. Man, I know y'all got stories, man. For days. Man, y'all been, y'all been around. Series, nigga. Man, shit, y'all done been Series, around. Y'all done man. seen it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all done seen it. You know what I'm saying? And I believe it. You know what I'm saying? Like, God damn me, y'all ain't got this man. for nothing. <laughs> She came to the house, you know what I'm saying, and start cleaning up, you know what I'm saying, because yeah. you know he always beat her, so he had to, she had to make sure the house was clean. So she just got through washing the toilet up, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> put the bleach and all that shit all up in that motherfucker, cleaned that up, right? So she put the seat down. Yeah, 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 she forgot to just fluff the shit, she let the shit sit, so you know. That's yeah. why, it, yeah, warning everybody, when you at home and you cleaning your toilet, make sure you flush it and lift the seats up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So she left the sit down, I mean seat down. And this nigga, he come home, cussing out, he drunk. Wow, wow. You know what I'm saying? He sit down on the toilet, five a cigarette, right? And nigga dumped that bitch in the toilet and blew up. Boom! <laughs> blew his ass up. <laughs> literally. <laughs> blew his ass up, literally. Oh, That's a terrible way to go. Shit. <laughs> That's a terrible way. And if you don't go, you gonna wish you did. Man, you gonna wish you did, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn. Oh. Yeah, it was over for that nigga. Blew you know what I'm saying? Blew that ass out. I mean, blew that ass out. You know what I'm saying? Like, God damn. 
So man, what's like? Ooh, shit. Who y'all always wanted to watch? <laughs> Yeah, man, that shit, that shit fucked up, man. It's a whole month, man. You gotta go watch that show, man. Some shit, man. It's two, the cho- these two Chinese, last one, two Chinese couple. I mean, the couple, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I shouldn't even say that, but Asian couple, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And um, they getting married. None of them never had sex ever in their life, yeah, ever. That sound miserable. Ever. They had to wait till they got married to have sex. Yeah. And they had sex with her. They both got one uh, and died from a heart attack. God both of them together. Cause they said that some the doctor said that it was something about the something about the I don't know, they never had had that that it, it was too much excitement. It was too much excitement for both Shit, of them. That's how I wanna go. I had to see how I was gonna say it on the podcast. I had to see. <laughs> Where you gonna say it? If I die fucking, everybody gonna be like, that's how right. that's how so, you wanna be happy. <laughs> <laughs> he was good. Golly, man. So man. That's crazy. So what's somebody y'all wanna work with that y'all ain't work with that's in the industry? Scarface and E40. Scarface and E40. Okay. That's go that's about yeah, E40. Ooh, yeah. And one probably a lot of people don't know about, but Boots from the Coop. Boots from the Coop? You ain't never heard of the Coop, huh? Uh-uh. They from Oakland. And, oh, uh, okay. It was a dude named Boots and E-Rock. Boots actually did that, uh, Sorry to Disturb You. It was a movie about uh, people would do the, the calling all the time and telemarketing and shit. Man. And about code switching. And now nah, I don't think I seen that one, man. Boots. Then you going to turn me on. He dope. Look okay. up the coop. C O U P. They was on that positive yeah. shit. Okay. Like, okay. I'm going to check that out. But Boots is fly. He got that pimp voice and delivery, but he talking about some, some deep shit. Right. And that shit just mesh. Okay. Okay. That's one thing about the South. We always relate to that West Coast. You know what I'm saying? And y'all ain't gonna divide us, you know what I'm saying? I think I still think Lil Wayne should have went to to the Super Bowl, you know what I'm saying, and, and for the Saints, you know what I'm saying? But hey, we ain't we, that's neither there nor I don't I don't know, bro. I seen how he performed at that that wrestling shit. Mm-hmm. But for real, he got hits, though. He got yeah, hits. Yeah. And that's hometown, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But you know, I, I commend Kendrick Kim, Kim Lamar because you know what I'm saying, he dope too, you know what I'm saying? But or at least it, juvenile or somebody from the town. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, somebody yeah. from the town. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because it's big. That's yeah. something big for the city. You know what I'm saying? somebody. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. that's that just like Dallas. You know, we got to have somebody big for the city when we come out. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's just only right sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I think some people just be like, you know, I don't know. But anyway. At least Celine Dion Politics. didn't get it up. Uh, yeah. No bullshit <laughs> like <laughs> So who are you? Oh, man. I don't know. It's a lot of folks, man. Pretty straight. With the main one you want to work with in the industry. I know it's somebody. I need even beats wise, like cause nigga, it's some badass producers out there too. Some monsters out there. <laughs> like, uh, like DJ Toomp and all them, man. Shit. I like two chain. Two chain, yeah. yeah. It's my yeah, birthday. I like two chain. All I want is a big booty. Uh, I'd fuck with some Jesus. Titty boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Man, how the fuck my car fool? All right, so we was talking about who you was um, working with in the industry. Uh, I like YG. YG. Uh, there go that era. I feel it now. I, I like uh, 310, baby. Okay. Uh, shit. Uh, Big Sean. He's so underrated. It's, it's, yeah, Big Sean is underrated, yo. It's a whole bunch of niggas be jamming. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that nigga that be with uh, Eminem and uh, Big Sean, that one song, uh, what's it called, Toby? What are you talking about, o- OB Turks? No, nah, it's it's uh, Big Sean, uh, Eminem, mm-hmm. and another nigga. Cause all three of them from Detroit. Bazaar? No, no, no. Uh uh. Not Royce. Royce Royce 5'9? No, it's a whole different nigga. Oh, okay. That shit, I can't think of his name. That nigga, that that shit be jamming. Baby Tron. Baby Tron? Yes, Baby Tron, okay. Baby Tron. Baby Tron be jamming. Oh, Baby Tron, okay. I bet. Okay, all right. All right. I like, uh, oh, that nigga that same Million Dollar Baby. Yeah, Million Dollar Baby. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, so I mean, but yeah, man, shit, I I I work with them type of people. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? 
it's like you working with OGs and, and modern folks too. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just you gotta kind of be just be able to just you know what I'm saying adapt. Right. To you know what I'm saying certain you you know you deal with these folks like this, these folks like that. Right. Nah, nah, fast, yeah, I, fast. I can't. Lie. I would love to work with La Russell. Out of these new dudes, La Russell be killing it. Right. right. That, look, that young dude is a monster. Oh, yeah, La Russell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like done built a whole stage in his backyard and throw shows in his backyard. <laughs> 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 hey, got Richie Rich and E Forty and and I'm like, what the hell coming to the backyard? Yeah, yeah because that's what the day. That's why I was trying to tell you. They like the music. They talking about music dying. But it's changing. All it's doing is going back to the old school way. It's hand yeah. over fist. You know what I'm saying? You get your own website, sell your own CD, I mean, or whatever, your downloads and stuff like that for cash yeah, on your own website. So, yeah. Shit. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's going back, you know what I'm saying? Because they, you know, yeah. everybody want to have a, a grasp over their stuff. And that's because they raping people on right. streams. Yeah, they raping people. And streams is smooth. You know what I'm saying? You can still get money off it, but yeah, it's still, it's raping. You know it's what I'm saying? It's that baby money, you though. Work, well, you working harder and harder, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But You get a half a penny off a stream. What the fuck they gonna man. do? Man. So, what's 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 new in y'all line of work? What y'all got coming up? What y'all next, you know what I'm saying? Let's say three years goes. What y'all got planned, man? Man, I plan to have a, uh, like a hot shot company, hauling company. You know right. What I'm you know what I'm saying? Get a couple of doulas. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Run trailers, run freight. You know what right. I'm saying? Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Get to that mindset. Okay. Yeah. Shit. On the music thing, basically still. Yeah, like, still. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's how like you already. I see. We gonna we gonna make rap great again. Like, right. We just, Let's so say we, we, yeah. like, <laughs> I never, yeah. But production wise is really where I'm focusing. Like okay. I said, me and me and mm. Tech doing the LX2 thing. Right. Yeah. Champ on there. Grip right. gonna be on there. Like we getting there. Yeah. Bub gonna be on there. Yeah. But the production is my my push push. Right. Like I said I'm working with a dude in Miami Zambrana who doing stuff and starting to put up numbers. So. I'm gonna keep, you know what I'm saying, working with him and work with some other people. Shaki keep some beats, but okay. I'm a studio rat. I mean, which, yeah. You know. Yeah, right, you're right, right. You Everybody thinks that being a producer is the party, but that shit, just you in a room no, listening to the same yeah, shit 52 times in a row. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. He never seen it, see what? Yeah. See this nigga, like, I ain't finna do shit with him or nothing. Uh-huh. Shit. I don't know, you gonna do something. Up. I ain't gonna do cause, cause on the cool, he trying to. Say some little old, I, cause, you know, I read through all that kind of shit. Oh, yeah, know, I'm yeah. hearing him say, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, he yeah, feel, he feel a type of way about nah, that. No, I ain't never said we want to record this shit. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, this is how I get him back into the into the studio. Right, yeah. right, right. I see you chastising yeah. his ass you know over here. Because what, yeah. what, what they ain't saying is I got a whole studio at the crib and everybody got yeah, the man. ability to come record for free. Right. Ain't no charging. Right, right. You got beats for free. Right. It's a, it's what shit, what yeah. we going to do? Yeah. I done told him I'm like get on yeah, the same cloud Tell me got, what you and, like And they got the mobile Studio backpack They got right. the whole studio On the backpack He just pull up on nigga. Pew, 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 pew. I done told his ass Get on there And <laughs> pick you some beats <laughs> You know what I'm saying Yeah, yeah but like, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go hit that shit yeah, man. Go to Dirty Work no, Music man. Find and you, you some man, beats you feel good You know what I'm saying so Once he you don't even know Yeah it's, I got I got the shit in the sound cloud, so he don't even know. Yeah, you my little well, brother. I got what, I got to give you shit. Through looking yeah, at, yeah. He don't even know. Okay, that little okay. brother. I got to you know. Okay, yeah, all right, man, all right. Shit. I got to poke him and push him. <laughs> you know well, shit, man. I got, I got to just be able to just. And chill grip out. got no. grown, uh, grown folks music. That okay. he doing? They finna put out a compilation. Okay. Uh, I got some production on there. I'm on a couple of songs. Like. Okay. We, yeah, out there pushing that. I think it's going to be ready. I think he said in a couple of months it's coming out. All right. but So before I give y'all the flow, you know what I'm saying, it's a question I ask everybody. If y'all was in my shoes, because now I got to say it plural. If y'all was in my shoes, <laughs> yeah. what question would you ask yourself that I didn't get to ask? That y'all didn't get to ask? <laughs> so if I was you, uh-huh. What would I ask me as you? Right. Yeah. Damn. She's slicker than fat hoes on wax flows. Hold on, you know okay. what I'm saying? Who, 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 who you want to who you want to do it first? You know what I'm saying? Either either one of y'all. Say whoever get an answer first. You, know you gotta ask. <laughs> oh shit! Now I feel like I'm on the clock. I'm in. It's intense. 
I got it. I'm going to sample right. that. <laughs> so, you souls of sin guys, do you feel like you got a shitty deal in the city? Myself? Fucking right. Yeah. You got a shitty deal in the city, man. It's like, it's like, I don't know what the fuck happened. It's like, nigga, we just got cut off, bro. Right. We like, don't get like the respect. Like, nobody really want to fuck with a nigga. Like, none of that shit, bro. For what, bro? We were chilling. Right. Hell, we trying to make a name, too. We ain't right. shit on nobody. We ain't getting to it nobody. It was just... And it's all competition, Shadow, but we ain't bro. trying to you do that. We just trying to get out there and do our best. Do nigga, what we, we do. We in the studio trying right. to make music, man, and it's just shit. Right. 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 So, shit. Well, so what you saying more like? It's like the, when the shit happened at GGS and all that shit, right. man. They banned us from the radio and all that shit. Though. Right. It's just like shit. Doors closing. Right. Type shit. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like we ventured out. It was just like still kind of right. Certain type of way sending shit off, doing this, doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. And it was that, and then we made some mistakes on that end too, though. Like some yeah. of that was a like whenever we did split off, George tried to sign me right to T Town with DSR and them. But he didn't want to sign Sham and Grip. And I was like, well, I ain't without my folk. Like, right. they're my people. Right. When really that was dumb and a bitch, I should have got with them and be like, say, George yeah. trying to show me some love. Right. I'm going to do this and then I'm, I'm going to grab y'all and we all going to do it. Right. But instead, you know, you young and dumb, you right. like, nah, I'm, I'm, right. People like, you ain't thinking the long game. Right. You live in your life. Yeah, you thinking yeah. right now. Right. You thinking right now. <laughs> like, we had a lot of shit after we that. We know, you know, like, all kind of folks and came different kind of. Right. Amongst the three of us, you know what I'm saying? Right. But we could have monopolized on the name you know, and pushed it ourselves. They they went ahead and, you know what I'm saying, ventured, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Like, hey, I was still trying to do me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But, you know, I was just trying to get the mindset to even want to go in the studio and do some things and then like certain situations happen in studios, dealing with music and all kind of stuff and I just had kind of lost the love for it, you know what I'm saying? So, right. Yeah. Man, that's how that's how I do it. But see, y'all gotta mm-hmm. y'all gotta you know, it's always a second chance. You know what I'm saying? There's always a way to rebrand yourself, you know what I'm saying? And like 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 I say, you know, we all we all have those mistakes. You know what I'm saying? It shit always closed doors on us, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. but I always know that you can always open up a door for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. One you close, know, another like, one open. Yeah, another one opens. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm it's like with it, you right, know what I'm saying? right. Because I desire it. You know what I'm saying? Right. The nah. Music, the music good. You know what I'm saying? I'm just. Nah, it, nah, it be fucked up because I know how I know how it yeah. feels to be, you know what I'm saying? The same reason why Cottonmouth went up there to K104 and did what he did. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all ain't spinning Dallas. Like okay, I finna I finna flip this boy up. You know what I'm saying? And and I and I and I get it. You know what I'm saying? That certain doors just start closing for you, or you know what I'm saying, but you gotta also be like make your way, you know what I'm saying? So one thing I had to learn is how it, it, it was hard, especially being a Dallas nigga. I had to learn how to just leave shit shit behind because if I don't, you know what I'm saying, it's gonna it's gonna hinder me from going forward, yeah, you know what man. I'm saying? And it's like like and I see right now you hungry. I can see it's been a long time since you really just went and did what you wanted to do. But man, let your wings go, man. Let them motherfuckers fly, man. You know what I'm saying? Spread them bitches, my yeah. nigga. You only got one life, fam. One motherfucking life, my nigga. <laughs> nah, for real, fam. Like like right now, I tell people, nigga. Like I say, I got my cousin downstairs on on the counter. You know what I'm saying? I just lost my other cousin, me and him. You know what I'm saying? The same, same age. You know what I'm saying? Like I got my lost my other cousin. My other cousin got shot in the head in South Dallas. Like it's like. And everybody's close to her. You know what I'm saying? It's like, at some point, we got to learn to live. Yeah, man. And you only can live unless you just fly. Fly, yeah, fam. Yeah, man. For real. And also smoke some of that good shit. You know what I'm saying? No. Look, he get out there and start dropping her and people start being like, damn. Yeah. He gonna be like, okay. Yeah, it's man. just, you know, like, it's just like a lot. You right. know what I mean? Uh, yes, you know what I'm saying? And some of that shit be weird and shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, uh-huh. being the MC, it's in you, you to show out. Yeah, man. Yeah. You gonna but, wanna show out. Yeah. But, you know, it's like, yeah. I'm cool with it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Shit, I done blew speakers out of my shit. You know, I listen to everything. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Speaking of that Pookie Leroy with the... Yeah. Yo, the man. booth and show your act like you yeah, yeah, yeah. rap your ass off, bro. Cause I rap <laughs> like just all kind of, real. all kind of genre. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I'm saying, but like, so 
And I like I say, and we gonna we we gonna get you to fly. That's what we are gonna do. We gonna have Already. to we gonna, we gonna wake you up and you. you what would your answer be? Was touring fun? And what would your answer be? Was fun? Touring? No. What what was wrong with touring? Oh, touring with little bit ass country ass towns perform, which is cool. You get out there at two, three. Uh-huh. And then there's hoes and groupies And you doing your thing and Then you gotta go to the Waffle House and eat Cause ain't shit else open <laughs> Oh grease ass food You been drinking all night Everybody done drank your shit up like, And then you get up at you 7 get, in the morning To go to the next town You smoked all your weed Nobody yeah. got no weed yeah, It's just too late Gotta pull over and shit on the side of the highway In the oh, middle of nowhere God like, it's damn like, <laughs> God damn <laughs> Man, say, say. Bro, they used to say, hey, I used to make hoes mad. I ain't pulling over side no highway taking no motherfucking shit. Bro, I used to make hoes mad. <laughs> Cause they be in the room. I come in the room, they be sitting on my bed. I'm like, bro. I was like, is we fucking? She go, no, then get the fuck off my bed. Like, what the fuck you sitting on my bed for? Move. Shit. Oh my god. <laughs> say, man, what man what say? Nigga is crazy no, no, fool, fool. Swear no. God. He he real life. Real life. No, nah, real life. What's, Did you what's, have a gummy? What's my nah. boy that played in, uh, in Santa Claus? What's his name? What's, oh, uh, Bad Santa. Bad Santa. Who was bad? Who was that the bad fuck Santa? What's his name? Uh, the actor. The one that married Angelina Jolie. What a pretty Yeah, name. yeah. What's his Billy name? Bob. Billy Bob. Billy Bob. Billy Bob, Bob Thornton. Thornton. There it go. You know what I'm saying? There we go. You know, we get it. You know what I'm saying? We know. We saw, that's how we know. That's how you know. That's that we talk right now. That nigga's like, we both looked at Billy Bob Thornton. That's how you do it. You know what I'm saying? So that was a nickname. We're seeing and then the white boy hatch. You know what I'm saying? So this, this Billy Bob Thornton right here, he gonna tell it like it is. Billy Bob's like... They'd be like, they call me White Boy Hatcher. Grip did. He'd be like, why? He'd be like, because they're Steven Seagal. They, who did it? Who did White Boy Hatcher. Man. They were like, it's always you, motherfucker. Like, man, man Steven Seagal had the movies, boy. You remember he? The fake ass martial arts he was doing. <laughs> he, he was doing them WWE moves, my nigga. Man, really hitting stunt men and shit. Well, they say that nigga ponytail never moved. <laughs> Bro, I did, I did MMA for like Some seven and a half years, and that boy was. Though, Fraud, man, Jimmy. that's crazy, man. But say, but I gotta have y'all back up here, man. See, anytime. You know what I'm saying? I, any shout outs y'all want to give, man? The floor is y'all, man. Y'all, man. Y'all, you want to go first? Or you want me to? Shit, you go ahead, my nigga. Shout out to LX2, my boy Tech, uh, my brother Ice in prison on that life. Like, it's, Damn. It's, yeah, yeah. Shit. One of the motivators for me to, to keep going, like, first group I was in, a brother from another. Damn, shit. Just put money on his books yesterday. Shit, man. shout out to all the SO people, Bonky, KD for putting it down. Appreciate yeah, KD, it, KD. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out yeah, KD. Yeah. He's some fucking psycho. Yep, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a real one. My yeah. wife, Casey, like, shit, the whole motherfucking Grove, yeah. the whole Dallas. Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. And check out Dirty Work Music. Dirty Work Music. B-Star, SoundCloud, I, Facebook, all of it. I know one of them going to say, man... You didn't ask them. Y'all didn't even talk about when we was over there in the Grove and we did this. And we know when we was over Grove. We oh, there's going to be a lot of that. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of that, but we're going to be a part two. <laughs> and we're, yo, shout out. <laughs> Man, shout out to my family. For shout, real. Shout out to the streets, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the ones incarcerated, you know what I'm saying? Free, shout out free to free the ones on drugs, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Real, real nigga shit. Nah, real nigga the ones shit. out in the street, my nigga. Real talk, real talk, my yeah. nigga. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the one that forgotten, my nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All that third, man. You know what I'm nah, saying? Yeah, Big Bub. Forgot you, you know bro. Forgot yeah, you. Shout out Big Bub. Yeah. Ray Ray. You know what I'm saying? Zero. And shit, it's all good, man. All in love. All in love, man. Yeah, yeah. Well. Y'all know what it is. Like I say, man, I done brought y'all another hot podcast, man. Like, it's finna get thicker. You know what I'm saying? Hey, OG yeah, Run C, man. you said you coming, so hey, I gotta get you up here because I know you, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. okay, okay. Oh, yeah. I'm That's gonna say, I'm gunning. Global. Man, say, man, this is, yeah. it's like, man, this is like Dallas history. This podcast is One of is my homeboys history. live next door to Ron C. Man. I you see him all the time. Oh, man. Ron so, C, cool. Bring your man, ass up here do this, man. man. Yeah, come on, yeah, you come OG. On OG, it. OG. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's, it's, man, it's like DJ Snake, I got to get you up here, man. It's like, we got legends, man. Yeah. Man, I appreciate y'all True for... True legends right yeah, there, man. man. And I appreciate y'all for painting them walls, man, and leaving that stamp. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we appreciate the love. Nah, for real. You know what I'm saying? But we, it's going to be a part two. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey. Y'all stay tuned. Hit that Sorry. like and subscribe.
That shit right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. This shit right here, man. Yeah. Man, the, the finest of the THCA, you know what I'm saying, Delta 9, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all gonna see them people. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, the finest of, you know what I'm saying, shout out. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, all my sponsors over here, you know what I'm saying? We got the Bud sponsor over here. We got Soul Lounge over here. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of yeah, stuff over here. Man. I got, you know what I'm saying? I, I got the shrooms over here. Yeah, I got the pins. Y'all make sure y'all go get that. I'm going to put the link in the description. And y'all get wheels buy. out of office and let's legalize yeah, it in yeah, Dallas. You know, legalize it in Dallas. You know what I'm saying? For we need sure. we need to get, also, yeah. we need to get Cruz up out of office. Cruz, Cruz is tripping. Wheels, Cruz, wheels got to go. That, that Cruz oh, got to go. You know what I'm saying? Cruz <laughs> got to go. Wheels. He's Need to tripping. get wheeled the fuck you know out the door. What I'm door. saying? Well, what it say? You know that that crew's acting like uh, wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. Looking at. Nice. <laughs> But I appreciate everybody tuning in. I appreciate everybody supporting. I, sh- I appreciate everybody that's chopping these up and sharing it. Man, I got over like a yeah. hundred and some shares. I appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody that came on the platform and blessed this once again. Man, I'm giving y'all flowers, man, once again. You know what I'm saying? Y'all keep going. Y'all keep doing y'all yeah. thing. Put it in their face. You know what I'm saying? Put it I'll in their face. Because that's what we're going to do. You yeah. know what I'm saying? In order to that, y'all better get the fuck up out of here. Because you know what I'm saying? I'm getting high. And y'all motherfuckers over there, y'all be tripping. On the motherfucking YouTube, get up out of here, bitch! No, <laughs> y'all fucking up the high. Fucking up the high.